Riley's You Know What Do podcast on Riotcast.com. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. What's up, fucking fuck ass? Hi, right, we're here. Uh, it is uh, we're here, and only one of us is queer. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a new record, I think, <laughs> for how fast it's taken to get to that topic. Oh, I thought you were talking about Scopo. Uh, oh, thank uh, God. Oh, shit. Yeah, why, why would you assume we're talking? That's, yeah. yeah, that's on that's you. your insecurity. Wow. Smelted. That is took on it you. Ass. That uh, <laughs> I was talking about Lewis. He did suck a oh, dick. Oh, okay. Lewis has done more gay Lewis shit than gay yeah. people I know. Wow. Lewis sucks a dick on stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's be clear here. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go around the room real quick. Introduce everybody. All right, Chris. to my right, first time guest, we have Harrison Greenbaum, everybody. Yes, and he is Catholic and not gay. <laughs> 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 one of those is true. <laughs> Let's let the oh, listeners shit. figure out which one. Wait, you're Catholic? Uh, <laughs> and then we have the real ass dude, Louis J. Gomez. Puerto Rican rattlesnake back in full effect. What's going on? Back by popular demand. I appreciate the YKW fans reaching out and, and uh, requesting me over and over again. And I'm here today to make <laughs> this back into the whole milk podcast that it once was. <laughs> he literally comes in like a promo. <laughs> he has his own promo. Can I say something though? <laughs> you you have to. You understand? He ha- that's what they he, he, look at. You either have talent or you have oh, okay. fucking drive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very rarely do they have both. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and when you do, then you get little Kev. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I also say I don't mean to be an asshole here. Yeah. And I know why you did it. Yeah. What I but do? I hate the new intro music. Hmm. Well, do you, why'd I do it? You did it because you can on YouTube play a real song, and that was um, a, a metal song. You can. You can play a real song, but what happens, uh, we're, I'm going to reach out to uh, Avenge Sevenfold, see if they'll let me do it. If not, we're going to switch it up. But they put a an algorithm, I believe. You're going to go to their website and fill out the little contact box? <laughs> no, I'm going to have my management, which you lack, uh, <laughs> have, have them actually do it. That's how show business works. Uh, <laughs> Um, Deepu, uh, can you explain the algorithms, please? Uh, there's an algorithm that scans every YouTube video that goes up. Can you please put yourself on camera? All right. Uh, yeah, there's an algorithm that scans every video on YouTube, and uh, y- there's ways to get past it. You, you know, you can like play old music from like video games and shit. Okay. Get like a certain level of production in there. Right. But not that song. I was right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you yeah. didn't know it was an algorithm. It's yeah, not I the did. actual song. Okay. There's something inside yeah. of the song YouTube, that YouTube they they built a tracker that tracks popular songs so they give you they they boot you off. <laughs> I get it. I love yeah. when I love when when he gets mad he turns into a 2-year-old and rolls his eyes. All right. So I'm <laughs> I get it. I'm a fuck. <laughs> the fuck is it? Look at me. I knew, I knew what it was. Uh, I'm all right, just saying so it's it. an algorithm. It's not as before it was this badass yeah. metal song that I was fucking air drumming to yeah. and now I come in and I got a fucking mm. it's like a DJ beat and then it drops into a weird surf for fucking queer music and then mm. and then what? and then pops into some fucking great white stripes was that white stripes yes can't that get us kicked off no i don't know we'll find out what if i wrote youtube an email <laughs> it's probably right. it, what would that be funny if it was him it was just <laughs> ratting me out every, every time i'm not on <laughs> yeah uh uh, Lastly, we have Mark Norman back again. Yes. Hey, hey, good to be back. Thanks for having me. Uh, and I was going to say all the same shit Lewis said, so he got it all out. Yeah. All right. Um, Thanks for having me. Of course, we have Deepu to my right, the Yo. fucking uh, video uh, producer extraordinaire, Wizard of Oz. R2 uh. Deepu reporting for Doopy. And then we got uh, Chris Scopo, fat ass. You let him do that? What? That thing that he just did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't listen to him. You uh, let him. No, I don't even hear him. <laughs> yeah. This this headphone is dead. <laughs> I only hear <laughs> this side of the room. <laughs> yeah, I don't hear anybody over here. <laughs> Archie Deepu reporting for what? Doobie. He made a little Doobie. fucking. He made a little uh, nerdy joke. I have some nerds that like this show. Yeah. And Deepu has that fucking. Uh, I'm the conduit. Yeah, you're the conduit to the. Uh, he's the little hologram coming out of R two D two. Ah. Obi Wan, help us. <laughs> Save us. Uh, <laughs> Hey, and of course we have Fat Ass Scopo, Woo! who yeah. decided if there was an apocalypse, uh, he would be the person, he would be a worker during the day, and we would just use his ass at night to fuck. 
<laughs> I'm a team player. He's a team player. Yeah, yeah. We would just cover up his back hair and his legs, his big fucking legs, and just have his ass. I couldn't fuck his out ass. Out of a, oh, I could. I could slide my dick in between oh, the buns, but yes. not like in the hole. That's too gay. Oh. But I could like a like a hot dog. I could slide yeah. my dick like up and down God. with a little bit of oil. Can I say something? That's funny. You bring that up. There were a long. You're getting time, your boner. No, a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago, a girl. She she was like she was smoking hot, just fucking adorable. And uh, she wouldn't let me bang her. She mm -hmm. would not let me bang. She goes, but I'll let you fuck my cheeks. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but of course I'm in. Mm -hmm. Bobby was and thinking pork cheeks. Anytime there's barbecue involved, he's in. Give me the bomb, Dan. I just wanted to get it going around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gee, I didn't know you wanted it that bad. I no, I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to sometimes oh my like God, you guys You make me miss Deepu's Star Wars jokes. <laughs> Well, he doesn't even get. He, well, we gotta explain what the bomb Dana is. To no, Harrison. I think you just did. I think okay. you just did. <laughs> when you lay out a exactly. fucking hot one, you oh, get there it. it is. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Um, Deepu wears one under his. Harrison pants. wants to tie that <laughs> all <laughs> the time. <laughs> Harrison wants to tie that knots. <laughs> oh, huh, fucking pervert! That. Thank you. Yes. Um, so uh, yeah, she. Each knot is a little browner. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I went to summer camp. <laughs> The last one's blood red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest knot of them all. <laughs> so uh, I did that once. I tied a bandana. Really? Yeah, I did that. I had a girl fucking get a bandana and put a couple knots in it. Wow, you bombed that hard? Put it. <laughs> 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 she put it in my butt and wow. fucking sucked my dick. And right when I was going to come, she pulled it out. <gasps> yeah, it didn't It didn't feel good at all. No. It, did, it felt like somebody pulling rope out of your asshole. Ugh. Yeah, it felt, it felt like I was being punished. Right, like, a, like I felt like a slave that ran away. Yeah, like that was one of the punishments. <laughs> <laughs> it was just terrible. It was I got fucking a, awful. I got a BJ recently, and a girl. I'm not good with jizzing. What on was BJ. his name? <laughs> Harrison. And uh, <laughs> and the girl kept pushing on my taint. Yeah. Is that a yeah. thing? Yeah, you're, because your male it. your male uh. G spot is your prostate, which is inside uh -huh. your butthole, and you kind of hook in. And there's a thing called a, a tantric massage, mm -hmm. and these women uh, deal, they are experts in the male G-spot, and they can actually make you come. Milking. Pr prost no, no, milking is totally different. Uh, <laughs> they, can make, they can make you come prostate fluid, which is a, like uh, a yellowy fluid, uh, uh, from fingering your butthole, and your orgasm will be different than when you usually just jerk off. Oh, you, wow. Men can prolong orgasms, like, you know, you can edge, but you can also have multiple orgasms like women if you wanted to. You can teach wow. yourself. The, and a milking How the fuck is, are you, Sting? How do you know this? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Because I'm a fucking pervert. How does Sting know that, though? I like how you're like, when it's yellow stuff comes out, that's a prostate come. That's pee. <laughs> No, that's <laughs> well to you. <laughs> you are the expert. <laughs> I hand it over to Harrison. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> that's P. Um, I'm just defending I, science right there now. There is <laughs> there is a natural progression. Uh, you know, there's regular sex and then all the kinds of stuff and then a little, you know, rough sex and then it comes this and then right into transsexuals. Uh, and then you just <laughs> suck a dick. <laughs> they just blow your friends. <laughs> then you're trying to get AIDS. <laughs> wow. That was like a sect of the, the gay community. You really, was, do you have extra you, ones of these? Yeah, do, actually, do you have ones? <laughs> no. Do you have ones that, like, won't allow you into show business? <laughs> no, <that's laughs> <a>, they're already <laughs> letting him. <laughs> Scopo, that was a hot one. That's a Scopo. that's a real thing, cocksucker. The, there's in uh, like AIDS parties. Yeah, they try yeah. to get fucking AIDS in the gay community. There's like a thing where it's what? like cool I've to heard, get AIDS. I've heard just all like not even the, gays. The but drugs like, you get for AIDS are supposedly fucking like crazy. But no, I've heard like even like straight people try to do that. Just for the drugs? Party. Just for the, just to get AIDS. I don't know. It's like a thing. It's like that a weird... That sounds like a thing if you look up on Snopes would be like not true. Can you Snopes that? I don't know Snow. What is Snopes? Snopes, if there's like a rumor online, you could put it in Snopes ah. and they'll tell you if it's just a rumor or if it's true. Good, I, good type idea. in is Harrison. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> is a Snopes for that? I want Harrison to bomb so he ties the bandana around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's the guy from Scooby-Doo? Yes, yes. <laughs> he's, like, he's like Mr. Furley. Yeah, Furley. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jack... <laughs> or Charles Lee, Lee Shut Nelson. Shut up. He <laughs> <laughs> wanted to end it early. Charles Lee Nelson. I just want to end on a shitty stuttering one. Uh, <laughs> you had a good one, and then I had a good one, and then he went, Charles Lee Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is just a weird, I mean, first of all, that's ridiculous. To get yeah. drugs, you can just go get the drugs. You don't have to. Yeah. Get, you don't have to get AIDS to get those drugs. I don't know if that's drugs. the reason, but I know they, well, they try to get and AIDS. Now I, I would imagine. That prevents AIDS. So there's a certain drug that if you take it, 
every day, it decreases your uh, chance of getting AIDS by almost 100%. Well, here's Ooh. a fucking crazy the real thing. thing. They used AIDS. That's science. They used AIDS, the HIV virus, not AIDS, HIV virus to uh, cure leukemia. Wow. Right. We got good news and bad news. I'm not even kidding. They cure, <laughs> there was a little girl, they, they're using the common cold, the measles, right. HIV, to cure different forms of cancer. They actually uh, take out the bad part of AIDS, HIV, and they, uh, it goes into the rainbow colored part. The it, good part. It would, <laughs> it, what happens with leukemia, it tricks the body into, like, your white blood cells don't realize that it's being. They're uh, being attacked. They're being attacked. It does. It doesn't. By the can't, black it, blood cells. I can't. Jesus Christ. It <laughs> oh can't. <my> <laughs> Baltimore. He would have been carried out if he was at a fucking Legion of Skank show. Uh, no uh, black uh, people. Uh, <laughs> 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 had to kick Kumi out of the chair first. <laughs> Tuesdays at ten live, guys. Uh, you get in trouble if you kick Kumi out of the chair. Thirteen-year-old <laughs> 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 might fall out of his lap and get hurt. Oh. Uh, and yeah. Well, anyways. Woo. I. Uh, <laughs> Vinnie Brands is trying to contact. I love on that. The I love that we <laughs> fuck with. Ant I love that the the the, the smash on Anthea, Anthony Cumia is that he bangs hot young chicks. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's that's the thing we give him shit for. I was yeah. thinking about that the other day. Ah, uh, dude, your house is too big, and you yeah. bang all these hot young chicks. Yeah, yeah dude, you're in your fifties. You got a lot of money. You got a big house, a pool, and you bang fucking right. <laughs> you chicks with the, uh, the word teen in it. <laughs> yeah, you're a fucking uh, god. Are you right. a god? Because we're all trying to make our chicks feel like we're good. Dudes. Dudes. That's yeah. the truth. Yeah, we're all <laughs> we're all dating fucking chicks our own age. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> Ew, why would we want to bang a nineteen-year-old fucking chick with a tight, smoking uh, hot body? Yeah, why why, why wouldn't I want to date a a chick who has to use fucking like uh, zit pads? <laughs> <laughs> you want a girl with HPV? Not that's what you need. Ugh. They're out there. Ugh. No, now the young kids they have the vaccine. None of them have. Is that it. right? Everybody gets the HPV vaccine. Oh, what? none of them gets it. I hate none of them that. get it. That's I the whole did, point. As soon That's as the somebody, generational gap. As soon as somebody wow. says that word, I think of a just a, a pussy with milky stuff on it. Oh, oh. No, HPV. I, yeah, That's, not what HPV. That's not what HPV is. I know. Is, I know, but I just... That's, that's a cream pie. Is that that's, what milking is? No. <laughs> no. Uh, so head, back to milking real quick. Uh -huh. Is that when that's when you get on all fours and the chick pulls your dick from behind? It's like a cow. Your like you're like a cow. <sighs> no, the finger in the ass you're part like is your honey. dream. You fucking no, fairy. Face, milking your prostate is when they finger your fucking ass no. and they poke you in the prostate. Milking, your pro milking you is not. If you type in milking, it's a chick sucking your dick while you're on all fours from behind. That's <laughs> right. That's milking. But then Let's he's talking about prostate milking, which is uh, a separate thing. I think, no, I think that's not. Right. It's not even. Prost Urban dictionary. Because in the movie, Listen, milking. Uh, what, what is milking? Milking what? Milking what? A cow. And what would an, you? An udder. Yeah. Do you fuck? Does the guy milking cow stick his fingers in the Bobby, cow's ass? You're the asshole? only no, one who looks like a cow in the room. <laughs> milking is the. Oh, I would have given it a shot. Uh, I'm not going to help you with it, but I thought it was a good one. Though. The act bad. of manipulating uh, the prostate gland through the anus. There it is. So as to discharge as much seminal fluid as possible. Now go That's to now now go is. now go and go to video milking porn. Go to Milking Porn and tell me what comes up. Well, one's a prostate and one's a cock. Well, one, I, all right. One, we're both right. We're both <laughs> right. Let's just go. leave it there because I want to go back to this. Do they put a bell around your neck? Let's make agree go, to agree. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. I mean, I don't know. What, you, they you call can, no, bell. I'll tell you why, Bob. I don't okay? know why. Because when I smash you, these yeah. faggots, and I don't mean it in the literal way like Harrison. <laughs> I mean the faggots in the room. I laugh. They don't laugh because they're afraid of offending you. No. So this, no, when Joe and Dan were on the show, I could smash you and then they go, ah. Fuck you, Bobby, you're fat. And it was great. Was that just Dan? That was Joe. Uh, Dan milking? would be right in the middle and be like, oh, well, he's kind of losing. Look at Joe oh. milking, Joe milking. That's one of the milking I'm talking about. What is about. she doing to his fucking ass, you fucking... Well, I, she wasn't doing anything to his ass. Yeah, look at her, her hands. Fingers okay, now, but she wasn't doing that when he showed it to me. That's a solid piece. So don't piece. fucking, don't yeah. threaten me with your stupid fat fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna milk your asshole. Oh, I wish you were in a fucking zoo. I really do. It's fucking. I, I want to go. If I was a billionaire, I'd buy you and keep you in a cage. I would. I, a billionaire. A thousand. Dude, if you get season two, uh, if Lewis is in a zoo, he'd be like, "Wow, people are actually coming to see me." <laughs> um, I think. Uh, I think this. Um, it's, it, it's incredible that in our lifetime they're gonna cure cancers. Certain yeah, cancers. probably. I think that's Absolutely. fucking nuts. How about those dogs that can smell it? What? There's yeah. dogs that can smell cancer. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They also smell diabetes. There's a lot of people who have mm. dogs that can smell when their blood sugar is low. Oh, they're just smelling the <laughs> fat guy's drool from eating a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, my dog does that. My dog will wake up in the middle of the night. Your dog smells up. diabetes? We know. 
<laughs> I think you're hitting them out of the park, Lou. These are good. They're I good. think you're doing good. I think Harrison is just nervous. He is. Are you nervous, Harrison? Uh, slightly nervous. Why are you first nervous? First time. First time. I was yeah. nervous my first time here. Yeah, you. I you think know. you're fine, buddy. You're a friend of mine. I like you. You can. You can. That's the first time he's we been did in a room share, with five guys and he's not naked. Quite a hug. <laughs> oh, we did hug the other day. We hugged it out. Oh my God! Did oh he yeah. Hug me. He helped me. He was hosting, <laughs> and I did that joke about I don't want to. I, I don't want to fuck a guy. I just want to hug one longer. Oh yeah. And he comes up at the end. He's hosting, and he he just grabbed me and hugged me. Ah. But I would not let him. Fucking and then it became win. a game of chicken to see who was going to be the first <laughs> one to let go of the. There's hug. no way oh, I was I was great. being out gay. It was like by a Harris. full twenty or thirty seconds. Oh, it was, was it a killing. Un uncomfortable right. for every. It, it was funny, uh -huh. and then it was like, it was uh, uncomfortable. guys, stop this. <laughs> and then I nuzzled my fucking face in his neck. I was like, it's not happening. Uh. Well, one, I'll fucking take love from anything. Yeah, yeah. I don't well, care. Uh, one time I put Justin Silver's ball in my mouth. What? Fuck what? Out of here, you That's homos. a very different Did story. You? That is nothing. You guys have nothing. What? You hug Wait, and nuzzle. Stop. We stop, 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 this is stop, also the first bit. bit. This is the fourth yeah. time he's told this story. Every... Yeah, I told this on this podcast. You, oh, wow. I've, no, stop. You've never oh, ever. Ball, yes. I touched yes. my tongue to his balls with the ice cream cone. Did you thing? put it in his your mouth? No, is I different? touched my oh, tongue to his balls. That's different. You didn't put it in your mouth. Way different. Harrison, explain to him the difference. You didn't have a. You said you put, you had a ball in your mouth. You put no, your no, tongue I was, I was, on I, a ball. I was kidding. I put my tongue on a ball. This, this is not. This is not a. You're not fucking. That's not gay. That's not a gay chicken contest. What okay? was the position? How does that go down? Yeah, was he sitting? I, we were playing gay chicken. He pulled his balls out, and we're like, "Dude, watch! I'll do this." And then he touched my tongue to his ball, and everyone laughed. Wow. Yeah, that's that's just. I don't think that's gay chicken. I think it's just that's gay. Just gay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, gay, yeah. Me and him had gay chicken. <laughs> yeah. So you did was just sucking right. your friends' nuts. It wasn't hard I for. Have, I yeah. for a gay chicken contest in a chicken costume. I was like, "Babark!" <laughs> Get it, gay chicken? Yeah. Well, that uh, one was on you. I, I hope yeah. the Dolmites <laughs> like that one. That was a terrible one. All right. <laughs> Babark. <laughs> that sound like. <laughs> Hold on, uh, that's gonna be tied there. Wait, wow. What are, are you guys talking about? The hugging on stage. What happened with Louis C.K.? I heard he called you a fag. Oh. No, he was riffing off of, I did a joke about fat people, uh -huh. and he had come up, and he was like, why do you talk about fat people, faggot? And then he oh, made wow. a joke about it. But it was, it was in a very jokey way. Mm, it, yeah. was, it really wasn't. You know, Harrison, can I ask, I, I want to get this out in the open. We, just, we really do get this out. <laughs> I want to get it out and over with with me and you. Okay. Okay, I thought when I first met you. Um, in Atlanta. Hang on. Let's not. Uh, oh, boy. What on. festival was this? <laughs> hang on. When I first met you in my hotel room in Atlanta <laughs> <laughs> for the weekend, <laughs> only at night. My credit card went missing. And I only do it for cash. Remember the robes we were wearing? <laughs> they were very nice. One, yeah, very one soft of them, on the skin. One, I got charged for one of them. <laughs> I'm not saying you did it. Yeah, I'm not saying you did. And that, remember that little romantic package, package they had in the bathroom? Yeah, those are free. With you're the rubber to, and the vibrator? You're allowed to pack those. Yeah, but, not, yeah, but well, we already used them. I well, was he thinking packed I, them. <laughs> now, listen, you, when I first met you, I was like, oh, listen, I'm not, I just assumed you were uh, a gay man. I thought you were gay. I thought you liked dudes, which I don't give a shit about. That's fine. And then I find out that you you date women. You you are not gay. Right. You are now. Can you say that and look me in the eye and not look up to the left? Because I love the show. Lie to me, and I learned a lot from it. <laughs> the gayest thing. I, the gayest right in, thing that a I camera, say. There's a camera. Say. There's a camera right there. Look into the camera. <laughs> nothing well, sounds gay when I say, like, I'm a man. Like, nothing ever fucking. It's the worst thing actually I actually turns me Bobby on. took a private eye course online, <laughs> and uh, you are failing. All right, Mike's like a yon joke. Oh, oh, shit. Attack, 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 Damn. attack. Oh, Mike Vecchione joke. Doesn't matter. Attack, attack. I love it. I love no, it. I want to know how that's a Mike Mike Vecchione is a joke about doing a private, uh, private investigation online joke. Oh, he does have a joke. Yeah. Like that. Oh, no, he, yeah, he does have a joke. He, you just so, so hold on. I named a topic that he has in his act. So you're saying that I did a Mike Vecchio Lewis joke? Lewis is a hack. Lewis is a hack. Lewis is a hack. Wait, what happened? I wish you were. <laughs> At least you'd be further along in your career. We just start singing that when you walk up to places. Yeah. Just <laughs> they do. The they, <laughs> they just hum it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, all right, whatever. <laughs> All right, so no, 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 that goes back. Yeah, that goes I back. think it should just get an untie, back. not the full over here, because that, 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 so <laughs> <laughs> that, that chicken, that chicken was that that chicken was so bad. That's just an untie. Me, I won't give you that. Okay, yeah. you get an untie. <laughs> what, what was it? What was it? The gay chicken contest. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 
hamburger. <laughs> That's gold. So you Harrison. tried to impersonate a, a cock and you ended up being a dick. Harrison. So you're not, you know, I, I, and I guess this is, uh, I, I, you know, you have. Do you, Bobby's stuttering because he really thinks you're gay. No, I'm trying because I don't want to offend you at all. No, at all. You're not offending me at all. I don't want to offend gay people at all because, I, you know, I just don't. <laughs> these things I don't know how to say, but I, when I first met you, I was like, this guy is definitely gay and, and he should cute. Be <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I had a great line. Your line was, both lines were great. You should have just waited. Um, <clears throat> but now you're not gay. You're you don't like men. Now I'm gonna get mad if in five years you. Well, we had that was our bet. Was you were like if you turn out you like men, I get to punch you in the dick or something yeah. like that. Well, I get to suck it. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you know Harrison's not gay because if you were gay, it would really help your career. Right. Absolutely. So if you're not, you know, you're actually being true and. Doing you so yeah. So I would get way farther ahead. Oh yeah, Bobby touched on. We did have a bait. I I bet I said so. You you what? what, Sorry, Jesus Jesus Christ! What the the fuck was? Did we just shut down mentally? (laughs) (laughs) Dude, all the electricity on the block just shut down. (laughs) (laughs) No, uh, Bobby touched on it before though. Like being a hack is an easier way to to, you know fame as well. But you know, there's things that make you not want to do that. So I'm not going to just just say that that's the only reason he's Mm. not gay. You know, I'm saying like, you look, there's other variables in his life. Maybe his mom would fucking disown him, and that's not as important, or that's more important than but, furthering his career. I know what you mean, but he is a hack, so he's done that round. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. So, what is it about you? Because you get this all the time. Everybody yeah. thinks you're gay. That's just the voice. And why did? You, why did? You, why can't you be more? No, I'm just joking. I can't. Why? I can't change his voice. Yes, you can't. Watch try. This. You don't think Lewis does it every weekend around. when he makes... Hey, yeah. hey, everybody. Hey, I'm Harrison Greenberg. I feel like that sounds more like I'm cruising. How do you think Lewis... Hey, everybody. M- Lewis makes most of his money. Hey, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Well, you don't look like your picture. I know. It's, I put on a little weight. Oh, well, I'll take it now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. His grinder screen name is Gay Chicken. <laughs> gay Chicken 69. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you're not gay, and you, you but you, you do have mannerisms of a, uh, hetero, a homosexual man. Yes, absolutely. Because you're very, you're, you're, you, you... Sexuality, they're two different spectrums, yep. right? There's okay. sort of gender, and yep. then there's sexuality, right? Right. So ah, there's such a faggy thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like the idea of like I can be I, I come off a, a feminine and that's fine. I don't okay. care. That's, but <laughs> that's is not like related to sexuality. Right <laughs> where 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 do you get where do you come off a feminine? Where does that come from? Yeah. Being Did you go Jewy? to gay camp? <laughs> Being Jewy, liking musical is that, theater. Is that now uh-huh. so because you have all the you know, the, you like musical theater, you love musicals. You're well coiffed, yeah. you got nice hair going. You're, you're, you're very well hair. you're well kept. I try. Very yeah. gay thing. Yeah. You've never been with a man in your life. Ever be- no, I've never had sex with a man. Never. Not at sex. No. Have you ever had sexual relations? Have you <laughs> milked a man? I've never milked have a man. You ever, uh, have I you ever... Ever... I just saw a woman, uh, I mean, a video of a man being milked. <laughs> I love it... those voices getting deeper as we keep uh, asking yeah. these questions. What are you guys talking about, milking a man? What, yeah, what's have going on? Have you jerked on? off to Bailey J? Bailey J. Well, that's not oh, gay. Oh, wow. wow that, he's all definitely right. not gay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's the first. We're all way gayer than you. Maybe. I think yeah, that's probably maybe. true. Have you made out with a guy? No, what, what that, was that was a pause. That was a weird pause. That was a pause. Really? That was a, now, you know God will kill you if you lie to us <laughs> about being gay. I think he has oh, to you know, exist for that to happen. He's actually going to kill you anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, what, what religion are you? Jewish? Jewish, yeah. And so did you... Greenbaum. Mo- huh? No, no, his I, name is I'm, Greenbaum. I, well, you, Jesus, I thought you were gay. You're not gay. I'm not going to just assume anymore. <laughs> 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 I'm actually a Muslim woman. <laughs> I've been the whole time. It is. It is weird. I really. I could have sworn you were. Uh, you like dudes, and then I thought you. I thought you. I, I, <laughs> that's a hilarious fucking yeah. sentence. I, yeah, like you weird. lied to me that night. <laughs> but, and it's it's because I thought you were just kind of shy about it because it must be hard to come out in comedy and talk about uh, on stage that you're gay or let the comedy community know that you like dudes and then. Because I, it's just a fear. But I believe that now, especially in comedy, we don't give a fuck if you're gay, straight. Right. No, I th- as Mark said, I think if I came out, it would be, it would make my, if that would m- yeah. help my career. Right. I mean, it's got to be harder to do what you do because you sound gay, but you're not. Right. So people are frustrated about yeah, it. Yeah, they're frustrated. It's bothering yeah. them. Well, it's yeah. like, it's it's like, a lot a, of it's like a, an elephant in the room. And people go like, well, what's going on? It, it almost throws the audience off. You don't think? And right. you, by the way, you fucking Harrison murders. Okay. I'm yeah. Like, like this guy fucking annihilates. So in spite of the fact that it's like this, this weird dynamic that almost like makes people like 
have to be out of the moment with you. He addresses it, though. He yeah. acknowledges yeah. it. Yeah. You have to. You have to. Yeah. What yeah. do you say? Well, he shoots the butt plug out of his asshole onto the stage. <laughs> yeah. I have a joke where I go, uh, I have a bunch of them. Uh, one of them is, uh, I went to Harvard and I'm a comedian, so I'm pretty sure they cancel each other out. It's right. like being straight and having this voice. Uh-huh. So it's that. Uh, yeah. So tell us one of the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> but there's the whole thing where I go, uh, you know, I'm straight. I think, I don't know. Let's go with it. Uh, but then I talk about, you, uh, like, how do you, like, do you like pineapple, for example? I love pineapple. How do you know you like pineapple? Pineapple cookies. Because I love cock. <laughs> <laughs> but the joke is just I'm like sorry, sexuality sorry. is one of the only preferences we have. Did I ruin your joke? No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, but go ahead. I love sexuality pineapple. is one of the only preferences where you don't get to sample alternatives before arriving at your decision. Like right. you like pineapple, how do you know you like pineapple? Because I've because I've, you had it right. You yeah. brought it home, put yeah. it in your mouth, swallowed. That was your method. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was like, what? That's so you've swallowed cock. He's making my dick hard right now. I'm yeah. really fluffing up. Yeah, I'm fluffed up too. The way he said that, <laughs> I say we fuck him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then we'll fucking spit Rose Harrison over the table. <laughs> yeah, I think, that, I think it's still rape. I'm pretty sure it's no, still. No, not if it's a guy. It's man not if it's us just hanging out. out. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't happen. Guys don't get raped. It's I thought, only women. Yeah. I thought right. you were gay. If you're gay, it's rape. If you're yeah. not gay, if you're just one of the guys. If you're one of the guys, hilarious. Uh huh. <laughs> well, I I am. Uh, I am uh, gay. I, Bobby's <laughs> coming out. <laughs> yeah. That's why I wanted to bring him here. I wish I was gay. If I was gay, you know, my, oh, I'd finally get an audience. <laughs> I just have a, I'd have a fucking. It'd be easier to get sex too. You know what? A fucking chunky, ball, like a lovable bald guy like me with a little edge. I bring a lot of action in the gay community. Well, what would you be? You're not a bear. Bears I'm are a, hairy. I'm, I'm a twink bear. No. What? That's not a thing. You're, you're a gummy bear. Oh, you're... <laughs> ha! There we go. Bad. You're more of a manatee. Is there a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give it, can I get a tissue? Sea cow. Uh, these fucking <laughs> allergies are killing me, man. Oh, uh, shit. Sorry, let's Don't just... Don't take one from Harrison. <coughs> a tissue? Yeah, it was a cum joke, guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, all right, so you're not gay and you have a girlfriend. You, you had a date today. I had a date. I just oh, came he, from a coffee date. He when cleans was last, up. When was the last time you banged a chick? Uh, Friday. It's well, the first time I ever had sex high. Okay, Ooh. so you banged a chick Never Friday. Never done that before. You banged her Friday. I did. What, did you have regular sex? Like, what kind of sex was it? Did you have missionary doggy? All, we did. A, it was a, a lot. I went. All, now, this all is gonna, now, this is going to. Now, did you, when did you come? At what, what position? <laughs> it was <laughs> anal, and he made her wear time. a baseball cap. <laughs> <laughs> she, had, she had to hold a baseball and a bat. <laughs> she had a catcher's mask on. <laughs> she had to read the scores of the Yankees. <laughs> and now, up to bat. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Rodriguez hit a home runner last time, man. Uh, he's leading the league. <laughs> so fucking hot. Was it Dan Natterman? <laughs> <laughs> no, we uh, we had, well, wait, we had I sex know. three times. Three times. Wow. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You sure you're not gay? <laughs> That's a very gay thing. <laughs> to have sex a lot? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Straight guys only fuck once and we're done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She was so, 22. She was hot. So, you, so when did you come? What was the position you came in? Different ones each time. All right. Tell me one. Uh, the first one. Tell me the first one. First one was... On a picture of missionary. her brother. <laughs> <laughs> an, old, an old Johnny Depp teen beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I think mean, one was missionary, one was doggy, I don't remember the third. All right, missionary, doggy, and you don't remember the third. Third was through a fake beard. <laughs> <laughs> the the third was facing a TV, and the TV was playing High School Musical. There you go. Your head was out the window looking at the gardener. <laughs> <laughs> I do live next to Lips. I live next to uh, a drag bar. Oh. And so you see a lot That's of that. convenient. Your local Do haunt. you sit on your windowsill and sing songs at midnight out the window? <laughs> I only wish I could be me. <laughs> I am what I am. I think Kevin Meany has that as a joke. <laughs> Scopo, come on, fucking yeah, uh, had a joke, please. Get in there. Oh, shit. Whoa. He fucking touched on that. No, he said Guys, someone Scopo, who had a joke. He didn't do someone else's joke. I'm going Scopo to... Scopo only knows chill. comics he sounds like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <That's> exactly. <Scopo. laughs> Look like... Scopo doesn't like you. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> he likes you. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> so so you, bang, you bang a lot. I do okay. Yeah, he does yeah. well. Jeez, that's crazy, man. <laughs> so if we go on the road, you, like if I took you to middle for me, you're not going to uh, try to fool around. You're not going to sneak in my room. No, we're gonna. You're gonna have to wing me. Uh, so Ooh. I'm gonna have to wing you. Get you girls. You don't have to, but wow, All I can't right. wing you. You can't because I'm married. Right. So you, you know what? That's it. Right. See that he fucking Bobby's knows. Bobby's not a good wingman. I don't think. I'm a great fucking. I don't think man, he's so. fantastic. He can carry a lot of buffalo wings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but something. Did the girls ever like? 
You ever hit on a girl and she's like, aren't you gay? Oh, oh Mark, yeah. Mark, oh, yeah. Mark, it's awful. Mark hits you, you in the like gut. two hours with a Mark girl. Mark hits you in the gut and points to somebody else. He's like a magician. <laughs> He's got this yeah. It's like, ugh. So, hey, did you, uh. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel, I feel guilty about the fat jokes. I don't Not know why. Why? Because I don't know. What? Fat jokes are mean. That's They're mean. I mean, that's the that's the fucking bottom layer. That's where we go right away. Okay. I mean, we want to go deeper than that, but don't feel bad about going <laughs> to the obvious. It's okay, hard, it's right. hard to go deeper when there's that yeah. many layers. He's mm. fucking gay. He's fat. I'm a fucking angry guy. He's not funny. Why is why He's do you Indian. get why do you get like a cool one? <laughs> well, How about dumb? Right. You're a dummy. I'm not dumb. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You're dumb in a Nobody lot of ways. Nobody thinks I'm dumb. Um, you ran into a fucking dumbbell. What? What? Whoa! Oh, the eyes. Oh yeah. yeah. What happened? <laughs> It's literally uh, called it's, a dumbbell. It's a fucking... It, <laughs> People who... That's literally a term for being dumb. Yeah. That's why they named it, because someone like they ran it, into it. Keep running it. It was just called a bell, but then That's, a bunch of dummies kept running into it. Me having a fucking accident in the gym is not the same What as was the accident? I dummy. Fucking, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. No, I want to know about it. You don't want to talk about it? Oh, my God. You're okay to talk oh, about putting a no. ball in your mouth? I literally you just said before the fucking show that I don't want to talk about it for a specific reason, cocksucker. Yeah, here's the deal. We just fucking talked about his sexuality for a half hour. <laughs> Right. And he took a fucking 95 hits about it. There's a reason, dickhead. There's a fucking reason. Oh, a legitimate oh, no, reason. I, I it's fucked a, up. It's I a legal up. I thing. Anything, yeah. yeah, just fuck it. I'll tell you later. I promise. Gotcha. Oh, so you're fucking doing a Halvi Fatram and Schmitz th commercial thing? Oh, God, please. Have you been injured at the gym? <laughs> Do you need help? Have you slipped in the shower at a New York sports club? Call me, Horowitz and Feinstein. We've been helping people for 37 years. This guy right here, he's a Puerto Rican. He hit a dumbbell. <laughs> he hasn't even paid his gym tuition in four months. But now we got him free gym and $10,000 that his ex-girlfriend took <laughs> to Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <coughs> All right, dude. Well, I uh, <laughs> well, I having a, the big parties coming up, so y you guys are all invited. Party! All yeah. right. It's not as cool as you think. He's talking about his son's second birthday party. You didn't have a good time last year. I had a great time, but yeah, I mean, you were a little bit of an elitist. Like I was at a table with Kelly Festuca and Scopo while you were at a table with fucking Amy Schumer and Opie, and you literally didn't look at me. Like I was a fucking. Oh wow. Like I was a uh, like a fucking. You. I had to go there early and clean up the well, place. I wouldn't look at you. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the SpongeBob costume. Jesus. <laughs> All those chairs were shiny because of me. Scopo had to set up and wash Bobby's car. <laughs> what? Not wow. The, no, I didn't have to fun. wash the car. He just did that because he felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> it was no. dirty. I did the interior. It was Here's the deal. I had 30 people over the house, family from Boston, friends, um, neighbors, and comics. So I mixed a bunch of worlds. And mm. I had to co I cooked, literally did all the cooking. My wife did all the indoor cooking. I did all the grilling. And when they, people came in, they sat kind of with their rank. You know what I mean? Like Lewis and, and Kelly and... And Dan, they all kind of sat over on this no, area. Dan, Dan, Dan moved to the and big table. And then Dan moved to the big boy table. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, think, I think Keith yeah. gave him the okay. <laughs> I think Ro man. Robinson, Amy, um, and Colin, and Norton, they all sat over on this table. Right. And that's just the way it happened. Sure. And then I, I got a few breaks. But I, I, I sat outside with you and your kid. I set up a playpen for your kid. <laughs> I said I, I couldn't really talk to anybody that much. I, yeah, no, I really could have. But at the end of the day, when I sat down, but that's your responsibility. You're supposed to get the fuck up from where you're sitting and come sit with us. You don't sit over in the fucking <laughs> corner by yourself. But another thing, let's not forget you brought your kid. I did bring uh -huh. him. And that really fucked you out of the game. No, but that's okay. Because, I want because, my kid to experience. No, I can't absolutely. Fucking but rubbing th elbows with fucking Colin and Amy. I, mean, I can do that any time in the, in the city. Yeah, but you know? that... Well, first of all, don't get angry. Well, not Amy. She doesn't make eye contact with me. But Colin, he likes me. But what I'm saying, I'm not saying it as a, a as like you're an idiot for doing that. I, I'm, I'm glad you brought your kid. But your kid, your kid, it was at the age where he could run around. You can't, like my kid, wasn't walking, so he was stationary. He mm. was whoever the fuck called him. His kid, he had to fucking pay uh. full attention to him. So you can't really, when you have a two year old, you really can't. Have a conversation with somebody fully because you got to make all of a sudden he wants to go there or do this. So he brought a kid and he, you know, you what conversation are you really going to have? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you had to take care of your kid. I love that you brought your kid. I want you to bring your kid this year. Um, I can't come. Why? I'm on the road. Where are you? Uh, comics. Talking Foxwoods. to the mic. You're not talking to the phone. Comics at Foxwoods. Yeah. Whoa. Hey. Okay. For Sunday night? Yeah. I'm headlining. Oh. All, all weekend? 
No, I'm headlining the Wednesday Sunday. Uh -huh. yeah, that's not headlining. That's middling. <laughs> In the uh, headlining. No, 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 I'm middling no, no, the Friday. Thursday through Saturday. No, no, Friday. Yeah, that's the headlining. Yes. Well, no, I'm headlining the Sunday. <laughs> no, no, that's called <laughs> that's called middling. That's middle. Uh, no, but you can come and see me headline on the Sunday. Yeah, it's not really headlining. It's this actually... Is, this is like listening to Who's On Feature. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. So. I, I loved it. Um, yeah, that was, uh, that was your... F you, guys, you guys segregated yourself last year. I, if I was you, I would have went and sat at the other fucking table. That naturally well, I happens. Yeah, no, I would it's never do that. It's a natural thing. I know it naturally does it, but you're sp at a party like that, you're supposed to kind of you well, I'm not saunt, gonna go you're supposed to saunt, do what Dan did, kind of saunter over and fucking, hey, what's up, Colin? Right, and right. And kind of engage Colin no, and for I a did. second. I, I did, but I didn't. Um, so then what are you bitching about? No, I'm like hanging out with like Joe List and fucking That's Sarah. Fucking, he's a and great like, guy. She's awesome. No, but uh, I'm yeah, saying right. I'm not going to go and like try to fucking interject myself in a conversation with people that aren't like, I, like I like everyone. I like all those guys, but they're not my friends. Like Joe and these guys are my friends, so I'm not gonna just be like, "Well, I gotta go rub elbows with bigger you're not, comics." You're now. not rubbing elbows, you and fucking. Sit at a this table. isn't. I'm not. It's not a Comedy Central it's a party. party yeah. It's my fucking house. Yeah. These are my friends. You're a friend. You talk to my other friends. You fucking idiot. How do you think we become Ooh, friends? I did talk to you. You're your making friends. it like it's an industry but party. Like they're gonna do something. You're saying why didn't career. I move over to that table? No, you said because I'm not I, a climber. You said I ignored like Dan, you. And he's not a climber. He's friends, dumb dumb. I know. That's your problem. You're fucking in your head. You're in your head too much. But also, didn't you? You got past the cellar between this, that last party and this party, yeah. right? Yeah. Now I wouldn't so look at the other table. <laughs> <laughs> he really wouldn't. I'm gonna kick really it over. Good. I'm gonna no, pick I'm the saying, fuck now up. You've hung out I was really hoping Lou was gonna be there. Now I'm fucked. I got nobody. <laughs> <laughs> but now you've hung out a lot with these people a lot more. No, I knew everybody then. I've no. I've been in comedy for a long time. I know all these people. Forget me being in the cellar or not. Like and me not talking to you at that party was because I don't like you that I, much. No, I know that. It wasn't where you are class wise. <laughs> it's you're just a shitty person to talk to. That's not true. Huh? I like hey, when you smash him, he's always gonna go. That's not true. <laughs> like, he, every smash is that's no, that's a lie. That's not true. No, either. that's a lie. That's, that's, a lie. A, that's actually not true. <laughs> 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 I take a good smashing. Yeah. Uh, I take a good well, smashing. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Physically party and game. sexually. The pin and tail, the donkey, gay chicken. Gay chicken. McGurk. McGurk. <laughs> oh, you know what? You're getting it back. No. <laughs> no, no, because no it's you enjoyed it. it and it's, you enjoyed it's it. funny now. Yeah. Oh, it's catching it on. It is, it's it is funny catching now. on now. Yeah. It really is. That's, you, I, I, dude, you, dude, you got to make a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I asked my friend how to spell bagawk. <laughs> 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 Gay chicken. Oh, oh shit. That's well, an album. <clears throat> it's weird for me because, you know, I have uh, a lot of my friends like Colin and, and Norton and, and you guys. You guys were all living in the city. You're doing that life that I did a couple years ago when I lived in the city and you just jumped on a fucking train. You did your spot. You fucking come home. Now that I'm living up where I live, it's a, f and, you know, not even just having a kid because you have a kid in the city and it's, you're kind of still living the same life. You're just doing it in the city. But when you move out and you get this this house, I'm in the backyard fucking doing the shit that I never liked to do as a kid. But now I kind of like it. Like, you know, gardening and taking care of my lawn. Yeah, you're being a human being. You have that, space and it's a weird, nature. It's a weird fucking thing to, you know, I planted a tree. Mm, wow. I'm, I'm making a rock garden tomorrow. With I ordered, I just bought two yards of river rock wow that they're yeah. dropping off and i gotta i gotta fucking wheelbarrow i mean i'm doing all this shit that my you know that you know stepdads tried to get me to do <laughs> right, right. Sack them. fuck you i'm going to drink heinies yeah at the park is there, now, is there a party that feels kind of dead from it or what do you mean or do you embrace it like you know you're kind of like well the fun part of my life's over this no is it. I, I think it's it's for, for me <clears> to <throat> as a dad and Lewis probably knows this too. When you're a dad, you kind of like doing things that your son, you know, like I cleaned my car yesterday. So I sat my kid in the car as I cleaned it. Mm. And he was just fucking around trying to drive the car, doing all kinds of shit that he sees me do. Yeah. They see what you Eating do. Eating cheeseburgers. Putting his little middle finger out the window. <laughs> Burping. <laughs> Jerking off. <laughs> There's a three-year-old tranny blowing him. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's milking himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but the, the, the fun, what you're talking about, people don't understand it about being a parent, okay? Yeah. Nobody explains it to you. Please. There's no, there's no words for it. Think it's just yourself. a different life. <laughs> and it's, the fun is a different fun, and it's, it's, um, it's more fulfilling fun. When I'm fucking having fun with yeah. my son, and he's blowing yeah. bubbles, dude, I don't give a shit about it. people blowing bubbles. Bubbles is the name of the three-year-old trend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand what you're saying. But it's you, like you, you, it's a. It, but here's the thing. I'm. Uh, I, I think comics were selfish people. Oh yeah. yeah. We're just selfish because, and it was. It's not because. It's just you have to kind of be that way to get into this business and to come up in it. You have. You're alone a lot. You're you're getting taken advantage of a lot by people. So you kind of have to learn to take care of yourself and do things by yourself for yourself coming up even though i think a comedy community we're one of the best you know we, we really oh, yeah. help each but other also, out but, yeah we're one of the only industries that when like your fellow comic is like hey i'm my girl's pregnant or i'm gonna yeah. be a dad you're like oh i'm sorry to hear that like it's one of the few no, you're not you're like i, oh, I disagree with that, that. i think I that's disagree young that. like that's yeah. under I, maybe a young comic. I, I say that i say that shit i'm like that sucks yeah. i mean when i was when i was i mean look i'm me so a lot of people were like oh shit dude like but no, not really. Like when I told yeah. Bobby that I was having a kid, he wasn't like, "Oh, well, dude." He, yeah, yeah. You know, he was. He was like, "Dude, good for you, man." Well, I, I, I immediately thing. called Foster Homes to <laughs> get this kid uh, a home. You know what you I mean? Called B. You're right. like, "Dude, did you fucking let me come in you?" Wow. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what to. Do. I, I, is there something we could? <laughs> is there a beach towel? <laughs> <laughs> Can you take that R blanket and throw it over your head? <laughs> it's a, a bomb parachute. That was a tough one because it was about your ex. Hang on, hang on with the bomb parachute. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard somebody get a bomb for a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> You're describing a new bomb thing. Uh, but, but, I, but I'm I'm in the back. <laughs> ISIS is taking notes. I'm in the backyard. When you buy a house, it, it, when, it it's so funny how life is all a cliche. Everything old people tell you is absolutely true. All the shit they say to you is fucking exact. They're not saying it the to The blacks me. are ruining the neighborhood? Jews have horns. So, you know, I'm out in the backyard. <laughs> Having this house is a never-ending... I could literally spend a million dollars on this house. If I wanted to, just fixing it. And it wouldn't even be a bigger... A be you know what I mean? It would just be... a what it should be when you get this house you have to fucking i got the backyard i got to deal with i got a driveway i got to deal with i got to fucking get a garage i had to cut i had to cut down trees it cost me almost three grand to cut down fucking trees in yeah. my backyard what that's a dude it's a fucking a little yeah. saw this we is free yeah. no was, we had a tree it was fall a 200 foot fucking tree oh, yeah, oh, oh, we was, had a tree during a storm fall on our house and it oh, yeah. kill like every no, i had a foot through the, the roof. tree in the back of my house i had three of them one of them was so big and if you st stood on the side of it it was leaning towards my house uh -huh. and it was massive right it's a disaster waiting to happen and i every night i go to bed when coming out of the the going into the winter or coming out of the fall I would fucking sit there and stay awake waiting to hear that fucking cracking sound uh -huh. yep. and it to come come right through my fucking, because it was coming right over the bedroom, taking out little Max, taking out my wife, uh -huh. you know what I mean? And I'd probably live and have to deal with the fucking shit and I don't know how to fill out forms and all that stuff. And then you heard the cracking <laughs> and, and you realized you were sitting on a chair. <laughs> <laughs> so I... Uh, <laughs> I got to cut down. I uh, thought it was good, man. But yeah, I mean, he feels bad after he I says feel it. Guilty. <laughs> I feel guilty right after I say it. Listen, I'm sorry. Please, don't. Please. It's all okay. right, all right. Uh, Wouldn't it be great if the chair broke right now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I put it together. It might. <laughs> <laughs> that was a double. It was a dumb joke on himself. Um, so, anyways, game. yeah, I was out in the backyard, and it just I had to I had to fucking fix all the shit and fucking water and grass and wow. all this fuck. But you do when your kid's running around in the background, jumping in the sprinkler, and you're sitting over there doing some shit that he's going to enjoy yeah. later on. I'm making the backyard better for this kid. Mm -hmm. um, and we, I put this fire pit out there now with these logs and this, this gravel. And you, I was sitting out there last night with me and my wife. We had the fire pit going at night and just in the backyard with the woods. I was smoking a stove. <laughs> I was like, this is the fucking shit. Your, your cool. backyard sounds like a fucking obstacle course. There's fire pits and fucking sounds sprinklers. Awesome. Yeah. Hang on, let him finish. <laughs> River stone, <laughs> trees. <laughs> I love that. I love that all uh, 
like really cool uh, uh, rich white people stuff is obstacle courses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It sounds> like, <laughs> like two cars. Sounds like American <laughs> Ninja Warrior. <laughs> like, heat, uh, heat and AC. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are all obstacles to him breaking in. <laughs> I gotta climb over a rock. I gotta go through a playset. He has a new security system. That's, it was weird though. Those plasma TVs don't walk out themselves. I I don't know if you've ever dealt with contractors. Anybody? Oh yeah. No, no. My you dad have... does real estate. Okay. I, listen. I so I have to get my I have to get my trees well, it's done. It's like a mechanic. You don't know if the, if it's really three thousand or if it's he could say twenty thousand. You don't know. You what have the no fuck. fucking. They have clue. all the information. Right. Now, uh, okay. I had a friend of mine, Fred. He's a chimney guy. Mm. I needed a chimney. That was one of the first things I needed when I moved into this house. The chimney on the fucking roof was made in the 50s. It was literally, outside was asbestos. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, when they just didn't, ah, asbestos is the newest thing. Right, that's right. A, that's right. A few, you can eat this. Just that. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of lemon juice and asbestos. Right. And, uh, and I, I had to get it off the roof because it was falling apart and it was staining the roof. It was a fucking nightmare. I went through chimney guy. First one comes over. He's eighteen hundred bucks. Comes up, literally rips the top of the chimney. This is broken. I go, it is now. <laughs> wow. Bro right. I go, this is before I own the house. I just got permission to go on the roof and examine the chimney. This guy rips it off, throws it. The next guy, twenty two hundred. Next guy, twenty eight hundred. I'm like, I don't fucking know. Yeah. Right. Because you also don't want to so, pay the eighteen hundred dollar guy and find out he's terrible. I don't want to do that. If I have to pay the twenty eight and get a job done, if that's right. F Fred, friend of mine now. Who uh, Fred from Brooklyn, who actually is a great guy, does chimneys, contacted me, and he told me, yeah, these guys are fucking criminals if you're not careful. He, came, he actually made me a custom chimney, uh, came over him and his son, put it up for under a certain amount of money. It would have cost me probably around the f maybe 1500 bucks or whatever. I don't know. But he, it was like, yeah. They're all, I had nine contractors come over Jesus. for the, I need a driveway, I need the fucking, I needed the trees, and I needed the backyard graded and resanded. I mean, reseeded. It was, one guy was $33,000. <laughs> Another guy was 4500 it's like, That's insane. who the fuck is, who's wow. lying? Do you, do you and you have to supervise them. That's the whole thing is if you go away and you let them just do it, you don't, it never gets done. You have yeah. to like be on top of them. Well, you have to be on top of them, but the, if if not, you if they'll come in and take down your trees. They'll fucking you know they'll roll over your kids' toys. Uh -huh. Right. They'll ruin your back if you're not like, hey, don't fucking do that. They'll just fucking do it. So it's like I had nine guys come down, and how how do you fucking pick who the fuck is the right guy? It's uh, 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 it's the it's guy a, that's not Mexican. One guy wrote, I was about, I was literally about to sign the fuck. <laughs> Mexicans are the best. Yeah, oh, they're, they're great. They're the fucking best. They are. They're the best. The tree guys I had come down. It was but a the guy. head guy is usually like Italian or head, Greek. Head guy was Italian, there. absolutely. He comes down. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do fucking. What's your best offer? I said twenty eight hundred bucks. I got it. Boom, we're done. And, he, and then fucking uh, five Mexican dudes come in. Guy climbed the tree, a hundred and fifty foot tree, in two seconds. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and it was gone. In, it was gone in twenty minutes. This yeah. fucking tree was gone wow. in twenty <laughs> minutes. I, it was, I, where the fuck did it go? It was crazy. They did the whole backyard. Unbelievable. American Tree Restoration, I believe. Things. Ooh. Ladies Let's and gentlemen, talk. we'll be back with dad problems right after this. That was a very well. We can go. <laughs> we can go with un 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 uh, successful problems. What's going on in your backyard? If you didn't fucking yeah. almost have a, an aneurysm in the middle of that sentence, you might have fucking gotten it out. Got, because I got too excited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had a good one. I, I just didn't know it was yeah. unsuccessful. Or uh, No, you can't talk about it. There's a lawsuit about the dog fighting in the back. And by the way, I also uh, have a backyard dick face in New York City, Ooh. which is almost unheard of. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah. I have a backyard. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you want to call it a backyard. It's more like a, a prison yard. Yeah. He's a little <laughs> syringe guard. That's garden. what James <laughs> is going to have to get used to. <laughs> Dad, little, it's good when he has to go visit him. <laughs> mini <laughs> Dad, why is your prison nickname Gay Chicken? <laughs> that was a gay turkey you just said. You went, <laughs> I like turkey better than chicken. I switched it up. It's my creative license. Gobble, gobble. It's got less fat. But, um, <laughs> the hummerbird. Uh, but <laughs> they're, they're the fucking. I'm telling you, when you, you got, you're gonna get a house. You're all gonna get a fucking house someday. Right. Um. You you're gonna. It's it's to go because <laughs> comics. We we have we stay in hotels and we have apartments and that's the fuck it. People do shit for us our whole lives. We don't do shit. We play video games. We get on the fucking internet. We tell jokes. Occasionally we get a fucking part on TV. Yeah. And then we bang broads and fucking eat and have tell fun. Tell Lewis what that's like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
funny. I, I thought it was funny. Why are you going to get angry face? I'm getting angry. I can't laugh at him making a joke at my expense. Good point. Good yeah, point. Why? I, you just trashed me for 10 minutes. I was laughing. They were all good. But I don't have to. I mean, I didn't, it didn't tickle me particularly. At least he didn't say, <laughs> that's not true. Yeah, inside he was, though. Yeah. That's not true. Um, He'll put that in his vision journal. Yeah, like I had a super for so many years. You just call the super. Right. Like right. When, when something goes wrong with the, uh, the, the lounge chairs in your backyard or the actual the, the garden. You have garden in your backyard? Uh, no. Do you have lounge chairs? Yes. Okay, yeah. So when something goes wrong with the lounge chairs in the backyard <laughs> that you stole from the garbage. Well, no, uh, I mean, we, no, they're ours, so we wouldn't call our fucking super for that. <laughs> if there was like a, a, a problem with the heating or something, I would call B and I'd be like, B, call the super. They don't know that I'm, I live here. Um, <laughs> they don't know that you live there? They, they oh, Jesus live. Christ. <laughs> Be, they're, they're not, I'm not also, supposed to be on the lease. As a comedian, your job is to question sort of status quo things. Like that's your job is to make fun of the things that everybody else takes for granted. So when you you have that little bit of guilt when you are like, I kind of do enjoy being like in a backyard. I love the backyard. I fucking love it. I'm 30 minutes out of the city. I can get down to the cellar in probably around 40 minutes. Mm. 79th Street in 30 minutes. I he's talking about the cellar in his house. He <laughs> takes a long time to get around. <laughs> I don't. Uh, uh, I can't laugh at that because I have a, a crawl space. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not, that's an untrue statement. <laughs> like literally, it's untrue. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> yeah, but I, f I really do fucking love it. And it's dangerous because you can get like, there's nights where it's like, why the fuck am I going in? Right, right. Why am I going in town to do a 15 minute spot? Who gives a fuck? Put the kid down. Like, the last three nights, me and Don have been fucking... I go out, we play with the kid uh, all day in the backyard. We fucking hang out. We put him down. I barbecue. Is there a better way than saying put him down? Huh? Yeah, that's true. It sounds, it sounds like they're being put down. What, a baby? Oh, you mean like, like dead Then wife? I put them down. I fucking <laughs> kill my baby. I do it again. Get up the next morning, bro. That's what I do. Get that confession. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I put my kid to sleep. Is that better? Nope. Still kidding. <laughs> Um, um, I, I don't know. He goes for a nap. What? That's no, not a nap. It's to bed. Bed. There Put you him go. To bed. They got a bed. Put, Put him to bed. Put him to bed. He yeah. swims with the fishes. <laughs> I don't like when you do characters. <laughs> uh, it's my fucking character. I'm a fucking Italian guy. Hey. Is that your Italian guy? Hey, what's going on? Italian guy. What's your name? Uh, Guido. Guido, <laughs> Guido what? Guido Jenkins. <laughs> Jenkins is not Italian. <laughs> I'm not well, Irish. I don't do, I don't do improv. I do characters. I need a fuck, I need a way to I need a, I need a couple seconds to think about stuff. So if you want to write what? down the questions. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, answer the questions. Guido, what's your last name? Uh, Jenkins is what I changed it to. It was originally Gugliotti. <laughs> Gugliotti. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it's hard to say for show business. You know, I don't want to. Uh, what was your What was your name before? What is it? Guido. What? Guido Gugliotti. <laughs> Guido Gugliotti. Guido Gugliotti. And where are you from, Guido Gugliotti? My family, or where am I from? Where are you? Well, yeah, your family. <laughs> I'm from. My my family's from Sicily. Your family's from Sicily, so you're Sicilian. Sicilian, yeah, yeah. yeah. You speak Italian. Like the pizza, you fat fuck. You know what it is. So, so where are you? Where <laughs> he's are you doing from? Becchio, now he's doing De Stefano. <laughs> <laughs> where are you from? Wait. Where are you from? Oh, where do I live now? Yeah. I live in fucking Queens. Where are you from originally? <laughs> I, 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 fucking Queens. I, what, what, are you what part of Queens? From? What part of Queens? I, it's fucking uh, it's, uh, <laughs> Bay Ridge. You live in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Yeah, it's a trick question, cocksucker. Uh, Bay Ridge, Queens. It's not a trick. It's a quick. <laughs> it's a trick answer, you dumb dumb. Not a trick question. <laughs> we were asking questions. You were giving answers. You fucking idiot. <laughs> You're the worst at characters. What? I'm not a character guy. You know that. Oh, you are. I am a character. <laughs> I am the character. People do impressions of me. Yeah, but not in a good way. Like they do it like do a do I know. I know. I know. I get. I get what they're doing. I know. I know. But I know. But they're still doing it. Yeah. I love that. He but can, they are. He no. Will, hold he on. Will, he like, will take a negative. And make he'll shine it the fuck. Yeah. When somebody does <laughs> walk in, look hold at on. that pearl. Right. It, when somebody does walk in, are they trying to fucking make him look like a fucking genius, or are they just fucking doing the 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 exaggerated intonations of his voice? I, I got you want to stop, 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 stop? What did you say? Exaggerated intonations of his voice. <laughs> I think. Wow. My fucking eye just twitched. Yeah. Did you used the word intonations. I did. Do you have that on like a, a word, daily word thing that comes no. up? No. Wow. But that. So yeah, fine. They make that. What does intonations mean? 
I don't even know. But <laughs> in the right context. Yeah. Uh, that no, uh, it means like the, uh, the the cadence or the um, the the, the rise and fall of the voice and speaking. Yeah, there That's we go. Oh, is that right? Oh. I used it right. Mm, great word. Yeah, R two D poo. Yeah, it's gonna be played by Kumail on the TV show. <laughs> Are you sure you're not gay? <laughs> 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 That's not true. <laughs> All right. Um, I got a classic Lewis impression. What oh. Bagar. Bagar. <laughs> 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 Oh, gay God. chicken, gay, gay chicken contest. You got what I was going for, right? We got it. Yes. Showed up for a gay chicken contest dressed as a gay chicken. Oh God! But you licked a guy's ball. That's yeah. not chicken. He that's has to chicken. have a, a scary no, thing we too. Did things. That's we just oh, two, that's oh. two cars smashing into each other. That's called an accident. <laughs> no, that's just you licking the other car's bumper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're in the road. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you care about gay or straight, Lewis. I think. What? I don't I've never done anything sexual with a guy. I could have plenty of times. You licked when? a ball. What you that wasn't sexual. It was pure when, funny. When you could have. It's, like it's like saying the N-word in a joke. It's not racist. It's funny. When could you I have? Agree. When could you have? Give me a scenario. When we go to break with Harrison. <laughs> no, you said you could have <laughs> been with guys plenty of times. Yeah. When? when? I told you the story about uh, the, the Indian guy. Didn't I tell them on the show? Or didn't? Deepu? No. The time Did, me and Deepu fucked. <laughs> Did you see Deepu had his head go up? <laughs> no, I... Uh, Deepu was, doesn't like uncircumcised. I, uh. There was a guy who I met randomly when I was selling tickets uh, in Times Square back in the day. Uh, this guy, he was like Indian, and he was like, yeah, my brother's bar just closed. He was like, right. but I have the keys. We can go back and like drink and smoke weed there. Right. He was like mm -hmm. shooting the shit. So he brought me back there. Slow down. I want you, I want you to tell it in a sexier voice. So we okay. went back there. Yeah? Hey, yo, what's going on? I'm Guido uh, Gugliotti. And so we went back there. No, uh, so we went back to his uh, bar. Yeah. And he started like just feeding me drinks, like rolling yeah. joints for Oof. me. And he's wow. not even drinking or doing anything. And at that point, I actually got what was going on. Like I, yeah. like I was like, all right, this guy's trying to fuck me now. That's point. when you went in the bathroom and washed your ass on the balls. <laughs> 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 Time for the milking. <laughs> but he tried to grab me and like try to make out with me, and I like right. pushed him away. I'm sucking your dick. I ain't kissing you. Well, I, I told him. <laughs> This is the no closest. kissing. No kissing. This Business is, before pleasure. This is not going to be romantic, you <laughs> fucking queen. <laughs> so I know. Push my the story ends with, so I open for Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I, I, I pushed him away, and I was like, dude, are you fucking crazy? And I said to him, I, I really did like just like level with him. I was like, dude, I'm, I'm not a whore. If you, want, <laughs> if you want to do this, you get a slow, maybe go on another date, and then this can happen. <laughs> I want dinner. I, told, I, want, I, I want dinner. I want, I want, want candles, chocolate, flowers. I, I want dinner from a truck, and, <laughs> and I want some candles. I want some Steven Singer golden dip roses. No, but I told him, I was like, dude, another fucking big Puerto Rican guy would have just started drilling you in the head and robbed this place. Like, this I one's going to drill you in the ass and suck your face. <laughs> <laughs> God. But yeah, I, I like, and, but like, I look, is Dante here? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dante, I did not say that. <laughs> but I, at the you, time, the way that I looked, like, I know you guys make fun of me for being an animal now, but I was like, I was a streak kid. I had a lip ring. I yeah. had fucking like, uh, you know. I remember. I, I used to, you, you, when you first met me, when I was I liked that guy. You. Yeah, liked you liked me. <laughs> when you thought I had uh, something about me. And, uh, but uh, that guy would have normally been a dangerous guy to bring in that situation. Sure. Uh, I, that guy could have easily fucking just attacked him and, and robbed him or whatever. Um, but that was that. I'm like, nah, dude, fucking. And then what's funny is I said no, and then we like just chilled for a minute. And then he tried again. Like ah. maybe I was thinking about it. Ah. And you went, no means no. <laughs> Why'd you stay? No. Now you know what it feels like huh. to be Why'd every you girl stay? Why'd you stay you? around when he tried to fucking. That's a good point. Well, did, then yeah, I, whoa. Did you hear what he said? What did he say? Goes, now, you, now you know what it feels like every girl you've ever dated. Ah. <laughs> yeah, but that is what girls feel like with every guy. Because we, we don't always. We'll try once, and then they say no, we're not into it. We'll go back almost every time yeah. to try well, again. When well, they say point. no, they we really don't really try yes. again though. We take our dicks out and just right. kind of try to hypnotize them with our dicks. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you doing? It's, I'm just or that like I just want to go to bed, so you just poke them with your erection. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a classic. Dude, I've, I've been watching James Dean, the porn star, fuck chicks, dude. He's women, good. women love him. That's how I'm going to fuck from now on. Okay, that's it. Women love this Consensually? guy. <laughs> why did... <laughs> why, yeah, With dude, a big I, penis? Are you out of the... Oh, please go to porn instead of comedy. Oh, oh dude, I wish. Oh. If I had a dick for porn, I would have made that mistake when I was 19, easily. So, so, so does the comedy clubs wish. 
<laughs> wait, wait. What, what is that? like Yoda? <laughs> the comedy <laughs> club wishes you quit. It does. My or, fucking allergies are killing my voice, by the way. Your mouth. allergies are making your brain melt? <laughs> yeah, it is, really. My fucking head is killing me. I had me. a sty because of my allergies. I saw it was gross. It was disgusting. That was gross. Ugh, so wait, wait, wait. Why'd you stay around when the guy tried to hit on you? Because yeah. I felt, and then at that point, I literally just felt bad. I didn't want to be like, oh, get away, queer. I was like, all right, dude, chill the fuck out. And I, it was warm inside. <laughs> I don't want to go back to selling tickets. Free drinks. He sucked, he sucked dick for home anyway. <laughs> but I mean, no, I've had a hundred situations where a you dude a, wanted to a hook hundred. up with me. A hundred guys? That's a wow. lot. Wow. There's no way you got gay out guys, of that tree. Well, Maybe something. you should have been walking the parade. Listen to me. Gay guys want to fuck. You know that. Yeah, right? they're gay guys. guys. They're sure. guys. Sure. They, no, no, they, want to fuck, they want to fuck straight guys. They love they straight guys. They want to turn them. Really? Yeah. Love straight guys. Harrison, is that true? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a trick question. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right. I mean, no, it I mean, what? No. Uh, uh, Bay Ridge. <laughs> Harrison's the only. When he gets un gay, he gets more feminine. Right. <laughs> right. You know, I have no Guys, idea. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> That's crazy. I love pussy. Harrison, you're not even doing an accent right now. You're just talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this has all been a mask the whole time. Oh, uh, yeah. So, um,. I don't understand a hundreds of... It can't That's be a lot. That's a lot. Come on. I would say almost any gay guy that I've ever been uh, oh, alone come with... On. Come on. Has tried to fuck you. No, I've gotten a vibe. That's then an that ego. means you're putting out the vibes. Maybe. Ooh, they like Is a bad that what boy. that means? Why do you say that? Because it starts like with, with a girl, too. Story. Why do you say that? Because no, gay guys aren't just like trying to convert straight people as much as possible. You're, you're putting something out. How do you know? Because I have gay friends. Ah. Ah. <laughs> and that's what it sounds like when Lewis is blowing you. <laughs> oh, boy. That's quite a hummer. Uh, <laughs> Who fucking farted? Jesus Christ. Uh, was not me. Was not me. Scopo. Not, that had to come me. out of this Jesus, fucking soup that kitchen. Ass, yeah. Harrison's asshole is always open. It's just <laughs> that the smell's escaping you. Is that you? Who is that? Oh, Holy that moly. Funny. That is rancid. Wow, that's bad. Was that you, Lewis? It wasn't me. Somebody's got to own up to that. Yeah, I, <laughs> I would say it. I'd be proud of that one. Yeah. yeah. Scopa was farting before when we were doing pre show. Yeah, I, don't I, would, I would admit it. it right now. It's over there. I don't smell yeah, it. Yeah, I don't yet. smell it. So I feel was like it's coming ghost? this way. Is there a ghost Ooh. in here? A farting Is ghost. Is that Will's ghost? I do do that. Wait, did Dante scare Will off the show? <laughs> Why? He's in another country. Dante, He's in Australia Dante, right Dante now. Dante called yeah. Will a joke thief, and then Will stopped coming on the show. Whoa. He's in Australia. Uh, yeah. I didn't know that. Right? Are we not allowed to talk about that? You talk about whatever you want, buddy. All right. Damn. Yeah, I was Whoa. just, my, my sinuses, I just almost passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to face. I was like, oh, wait, am I not allowed to say that? Oh. <laughs> you guys are just passing out. Oh my fuck! I can't see an allergies, man. I can't. Yeah, yeah, it's so and then, bad. And then fucking Will hasn't been on the show since. No, Will's been out of the He's country. In Australia. So I, I would love to. Have, I love Will. Will can definitely come on the show anytime he wants. Yeah. He's been out of the country. Yeah, he just yeah. got called out the worst possible time. So you guys kicked him yeah. off the show because yeah. it's a joke for you. Well, no, out of the country. Let it be told. We told him, told him <laughs> you need to leave the country. I really wouldn't want Dante to be the one calling me a joke thief, though. No. Because he can't just go. Like, if it's anybody else, I'd be like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah. But Dante, it's like, it's like well, you, well you know what? <laughs> I you should get a point. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. I might I might have had some parallel thinking. I, yeah. I, yeah, dude. Dante's a big motherfucker. But he got his quads fucking repaired, so right. this is the time uh -huh. to get him. This is the time. He's injured. Yeah, well, first he, of all, he wasn't the past few years haven't been great to Dante. Dante has the fucking low, lower body of a midget. It's terrible. True. What does he have? Lower body of a midget. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> well, he has those hip, the same hip kind of displays. He has a fucking like weird like waddle walk. Well, that's because his. Dante would have to fucking ha literally get into his uh, jeep to catch me. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. That's because he had a nine foot cot cock swing in behind. I can't speak. Oh, wow. Boy. Nine foot cock swing in between his legs. Yeah, da 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 Yeah, Dante was the fucking real deal. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, he's killed a few I remember people. you know when I called him up. Because before we put him on the uh, actual actual network, I had concerns, you know, about his show. Because it was the brown beige Philip show. We had the black, which was Patricia's show, Black Philip. Black Philip, yeah. And he was on that. And I was like, look, man, Patricia's my friend, and I'm not putting on some, you know, watered down version of what my dead friend. I'm not. I'm not. I can't. I love Dante, but I can't do that to my friend. 
And he actually explained to me, he was like, look, I didn't know all this either. He was like, look, Bobby, all that stuff that we talked about, I was a stripper for years. I actually, he was actually a pimp. Yeah. He, he pimped women. Dante for lived a, it. He lived that life. Yeah. Patrice lived with his mom until he was 26. <laughs> then he did a fat bitch from the Wiz. <laughs> and then, then when he was 35, he moved his mom back yeah. in because he felt like he had to pay her back. So, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was like, oh, shit, this, this makes sense. Dante does you know what I mean? Uh, that's a great it's, way yeah. to put it, dude. It's, it's like Dante, you know, Patrice probably got a lot of shit from Dante, too. So I was yeah. like, all right, you know what? That, that really opened my eyes a little bit to that motherfucker. He's had... Um, a crazy yeah. he, he lived it he, some of the best stories if you actually want to sit down and just hear like yeah. great fucking yeah. stories yeah. about yeah. getting pussy and fighting like if that's your world which is yeah. kind of my world yeah he's yeah. one of the best to just really? sit down. you should have my tuesdays with stories i would dude. love to yeah. he <laughs> has some of the best crazy and i've heard his stories multiple times with so many details that's how i know they're true but because he, he yeah. such specific shit that he always fucking... It's not like he's yeah. embellishing anything. No, no, he's no. He's also no. one he's, of those like sweetheart guys, too, where like you sit down and you talk to him and he's like such a sweetheart. No, guy. he's a great guy. Great I guy. really do. He's a sweet guy. He, he uh, I remember when I bought that fucking... Um, I wanted to put... I wanted a 10-foot desk and <clears throat> I, I, I found a bowling alley <clears throat> on Craigslist in Brooklyn. A truck flipped over and it split down the middle of this bowling alley. So it was like literally the exa exact size, 25 inches by 10 feet. It was a bowling alley. Wow. So I went and bought it. And Dante helped me <laughs> load it into the car and oh, followed me the fuck home and uh, fucking helped me because I couldn't have done it. I needed his brute fucking strength yeah. to do it. But yeah. he's a really sweet, sweet guy. Yeah. But I wouldn't fuck with him in a second. No. Right. No, no. no I'm kidding around no. about him chasing me. He would still... Annihilate me. He's a, it's a whole other level. When you train martial arts like that, when you're yeah. a trained fucking martial artist and a trained fighter who's just done it, and forget just kid in the bag because we've all boxed, we've all been to the gym. Yeah. He's fucking bare knuckle fought like underground shit. He's sparred. He's competed. When you're in it and really? you know you're gonna get kicked in the fucking head and you don't yeah. care and that's yeah. the, that's the part of your life. It's a different level of confidence. You see guys that know how to fight and then just tough guys. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the guys that know how to fight, dude, they're sharks in a tank full of guppies. And that's yeah. what Dante is. So you don't fuck with somebody like that. Even at his age and his, you know. Annihilate you, dude. Wow. He would annihilate anybody in this room. I'd say any three people in this room, easily. I mean, look, you get him tired, maybe, but. He's fucking tough. Yeah. Yeah, he's a tough guy. But he does he does walk weird. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's definitely going to hear this you know shit. Wanna, uh, oh, I, he has, I, I, he has I that said stick. This, he has a but I, I do want to back up a little bit because there was I, I don't believe totally in this pimp bitches thing. You know, I remember Patrice called me up when he was like, yo, man, you, you, we're talking about our girls. And he's like, yeah, you got a pimp. You got a pimper, Bobby. You got to pimp your bitch. I was like, that shit works. My, I, my girl has a, a college education. Yeah. Right. I, you, it's a lot harder to pimp her. That's a good point. You know what I mean? I yeah, mean, look, if you're talking My about wife him. doesn't fuck. My wife can leave me and go get a job. Right. Um, she can go get a better guy, probably. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm exactly. Like, like, I got probably. A, I have a chick who, who I put on a pedestal, or I had a chick, that I put on a pedestal that I that I look up to and I go, wow, well, she makes me want to be a better person. Yeah. I can't I fucking, fucking did it. bring her down. <laughs> no, there's no, you can't. She's not a ratchet hoe where I'm going to be like, bitch, you ain't shit. Like, that's not the way it works. She's fucking smoking. She's smart. She's got a college degree. Yeah. She's got a sense of humor. She's got a personality. There's She'll a certain, go to the next dude. There's a certain, there's a woman. certain, there's, look, there's there's a certain woman that you can pimp or whatever they yeah. call it. But look at the the woman I like. I don't want to be. I don't want to fucking right. be able to pimp my bitch. She wouldn't be a whore. It, she'd be an escort. Well, it's just I don't want some. I want somebody that's going to fucking actually tell me to go fuck myself. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Like Absolutely. that's the friends I want, too. That's yes. why I love. Yeah. I love Colin Quinn. I love the friends I have. Keith Robinson. <laughs> yeah. like, he said, that's why I love, and then he looked around the room yeah. for yeah. one of us, <laughs> and then he just went to the Rolodex in his head. Right. <laughs> well, he went to the big table at the barbecue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the little kid's table. <laughs> they don't even get a table. They just got chairs. <laughs> <laughs> like Fisher Price plastic tiny chairs. We got right. bins turned over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I, you know, I've been working out for fucking three weeks now. No, solid. Haven't. Wow. I swear to God. That's great. Three weeks solid. Uh, going to the gym, doing uh, half hour cardio. Crazy. What kind of cardio? The stairs. Ooh. Two minutes off, one minute as, as high as I can it's take. It's all it. downstairs, though. And then, uh, <laughs> and then <laughs> weights. I did, you know, two muscle groups. Uh, and then. Who's training you? Me. Yeah, why don't you? Uh, we should be doing way more cardio. Because I don't want to go to Harlem to work out. No, no, dickface. I'll come up to you. 
I don't want. No, you'll be late every day. <laughs> You'll I be was late the every first day. person here today, 15 minutes early. <laughs> Don't pat yourself on the back for doing something right the first time. You've done it wrong 97 times. Legion of Skanks, Tuesdays at 10 o'clock. Bagar? Bagar? This is a new voice tonight. <laughs> I just want Legion of Skanks to become like 90 million times more popular than this show, so he won't come on this show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. That's why I want. I want that to become very popular. <laughs> that you wouldn't have McGurr. I listen, bro. I <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I wouldn't have said as a question. McGurr. I can't. <laughs> it's fucking killing me though. And then today I fucked up at lunch. Me and Lenny Marcus go to lunch every uh, right after therapy. It's, it's a, a month of It's a half hour lunch. We go to lunch right after uh, the Jewish deli across the street, and we fuck. Uh, it's kind of a traditional thing that it's become, and. I ordered the fucking meatloaf today, and I always forget that it's it's mostly fucking. It's not mostly. It's mostly meat. It's, it's all a meat. Li it's a little bit of breadcrumbs, dude. And honestly, a lot of the places use oatmeal right now. So look, you're not you're not fucking doing ketogenic dieting, okay? You're fucking cutting. What does ketogenic mean? That means when your body starts burning fat as opposed to carbohydrates, right? Okay, mm. like just naturally, like you're living, you're processing fat to, for energy as opposed to carbohydrates. Yeah. You're not you're not doing metabolic eating. You're fucking cutting out carbs and sugars for the most part. You're not like yes. You're not okay. being a freak about it. So don't kill yourself over something like that. If the only carbohydrates you're getting are, are a little bit of oatmeal or a little bit of breadcrumbs in your fucking meatloaf, yeah. that's not your problem, dude. Don't worry about that. Put a little ketchup on your burger. Don't worry about it. It's the worst day of my life. Why? Because I'm listening to you. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> He's going to go on a rant right are now. You I want, I'm, but I'm, I'm just, into it. Just show the fans. Listen, good. Show it. That's, show a, that's a gun right there. Yeah. yeah, I know, but you were fat six yeah. months ago. Well, I'm not fat now. But you will be fat again. No, I won't. I guarantee it. <laughs> I'll bet you a hundred dollars. I'll bet you a hundred bucks. I won't. How many years do I have? Two years. Give me three. Three. I'll give I you say three. five. Give me five. Uh, Wait, well, how be, old? How old are you? Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Okay. Um, when are you, When are you? When is uh, B moving out? <laughs> uh, two weeks ago. Uh, all right, give me three months. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. When, I, when things are going worse in my life, yeah. in my love life, yeah. I get more into the gym. Uh -huh. yeah. So when she fucks that first black guy, yeah. you're going to be huge. <laughs> you're going to be ripped. Uh, it made me so happy if Greer shows up with me. Oh, oh my I God. Because Greer's the nicest guy in the world. I know, but he can fuck. And he'll make fucking... <laughs> He'll make underwater sounds while he fucks her. She'll love it. Yeah. You'll hear a ping pong ball in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's just cracking up. She's getting plowed out. Just uh, enjoy the best sex she's ever had. He's a martial arts guy as well. Is he? Yeah, yeah. 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 He can fight. Yeah. All right, check it out. We're going to take a break real quick. i got to take a pee. i got to get a napkin. Um, we got to do some reads. We're going to pay the bills. <laughs> Uh, we're going to take a quick break, really quick, and we're going to come back for around a half. You guys in the chat room hang out. Uh, you guys listening uh, on your fucking iPods and iPhones hang in there. You won't even, it's going to be two seconds. So there we go. All right. We'll be back in uh, very shortly. Is here at last, and the excitement continues all season long at DraftKings.com, the official daily fantasy partner of Major League Baseball. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Why wait until the end of the season to claim victory when you can win huge cash prizes every day? Just pick two pitchers, eight position players, stay under the salary cap, and you could be on your way to an enormous payday. Last year, Peter from Colorado won a million bucks at DraftKings in one day just playing fantasy baseball. That's pretty crazy. Hundreds of thousands of fantasy sports fans have already cashed in at DraftKings. Now it's your turn. Hurry to DraftKings.com now and enter code KELLY. We have a nice little code for you. And you play for free. You could win part of the $300 million in prizes being awarded every season. Enter KELLY for free entry at DraftKings.com. That's DraftKings.com. Uh, make sure you go to cigarfly.com too if you are uh, a cigar smoker and uh, into it. these guys are unbelievable. Um, they, they you pick out your flavors, you um, you know tell them what you like, and then they send you a box of five cigars, and uh, you don't know what you get until you get them. It's a good way if you smoke the sticks or the bats, as I like to call them. Verzi, Verzi calls them. Do we smoke some sticks? Not those sticks, Harrison. I like uh, I like bats. <laughs> Um, I got a brand new humidor, 300 cigar humidor. It's beautiful. Uh, you smoke cigars? 
Yeah, when I'm on like when I'm on the road or if I'm in a nice hotel. Right. Oh, I love a story. No, he doesn't actually. What? That means he never does. Yeah. No, I, I do. No, he was meaning that you're never in a oh, nice I hotel. Oh, I get it. I get it. Scopo, you're off that one gig we're doing. So don't worry, I'll take you on the other gig. I'm doing. Thanks. Uh, yeah, that's a huge jump between that middle and that headliner. It, Scopo should go on baby steps right now. <laughs> Why? No, he's it's gonna. Scopo's be. coming with me to Boston this I'm weekend, Scopo and I'm murders. bringing. Who am I bringing? Stavros. Stavros. It would have been you. You would have been with me the whole way on my on the tour. I did. What happened the weekend? With this weekend? <laughs> Why is it not me? You're just not fun to hang out with anymore. You're too egotistical. Ooh. You yell at me to go to the gym. Yeah, no, I try to be your fucking friend. Nah, you do it in a no, mean way. No, no, Bob. No, here's what you, you scream want. At me. Okay, hey, no. fat fuck. Call me fat there's, fuck all the true. time. There's a couple you people. You knock on my door. You leave cheesecake out inside the door and you giggle. You go, oink, 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 oink. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> eat it, piggy. Eat it. <laughs> you're not coming with me because you should be. You, you, you're at. What happened was with you, and it's happened. I've, seen, I've gone through it a million times. You're you're going to headline now. Yeah. You've come with me to the places that now you're going to be you headline. Not left Boston. Could, I really could use a good. Uh... Yeah. Well, he he <laughs> Scopo moved up and where he's at that point where he can do the middle now. Yeah. Because I told him a year ago, I go, you go and get funny because right now I can't use you. Wow. Because he wasn't as funny and it's like you want it now. He did. He went and fucking bust his ass at the fucking LOL and. Now he's killing it. So yeah. I'm bringing him and Stavros. Stavros is very funny too. I love. She's it. funny, yeah. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah, Scopo did a great job. We uh, we just did a gig a few weeks ago and he fucking murdered. Yeah. I, I, I because I knew people wouldn't believe me. I yeah. took a video of it. I watched on stage it and posted it. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I just wrote Scopo murdering, I mean, I would write that no matter what he was doing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I took but, him out with me one night and he's up. He was on stage killing. And I literally, I came out, I thought, I thought something happened. I thought somebody else went on. <laughs> I, felt like, I felt like Louis came in, did a set. Wow. You know, yeah, that, that moment, you know when like a comic is doing better than you think they're going to do, and the yeah. crowd, like there's a huge pop and applause, and yeah. you run back to the stage? Because you think they're closing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did great. So, yeah, we're doing this week, uh, Laugh Boston, Thursday, Friday, Ooh, Saturday. Great club. You, have you done it? Yeah. It's good? So, it's really big. you got to fill it. But yeah. if, but Probably if I'll fill it. it. Don't worry. Yeah. That was a fat joke. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> sorry. Joke. It might have uh, sounded like a compliment. I really did. should have made that more clear. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby yeah. fills the seats. Don't you worry. Right. No, that didn't work that either. That didn't work yeah. either. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I like, you should have done Boston. it as yeah. the Italian guy. As Guido Gugliotti? Yeah. Hey, I'll fuck Bobby fills the seats. <laughs> what was that? What was that? That was, that was not Italian. He had a mouthful of uh, Italian uh, cannoli. Gabagoo. Oh. Uh, you, don't have, um, you don't have to say Italian cannoli. Yeah, you yeah. can just say cannoli. <laughs> yeah. You fucking dumb dumb. Right. That would be like saying Lewis's bad set. <laughs> uh, I was Whoa. too smart for Lewis to get yet. He's gonna, too, too Lewis smart. will be mad about that on the train. <laughs> <laughs> what does he mean? Oh, that motherfucker. <laughs> Go, mites. All 13 of you unite. <laughs> <laughs> How many Gomites do you have? There's a lot. How many? I don't know. Gomites. Hey, Gomites in the chat. Unite. <laughs> <laughs> it may take a minute. <laughs> <laughs> They're still they on get, dialogue. They're the saddest form they have, of the they Avengers. Have, they, have, they have to ask their mom how to spell Gomites. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mom, what? Uh, go my what? <laughs> go my, how do you spell go? I'll call the exterminated a month. No, <laughs> I'm a go my. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, though, at the start of every ep episode, uh, there's always a bunch of go mites going. Go mites unite. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. there. Yeah, man, yeah. I need a fun name with my you, name. You have one. Norminators. Uh, yeah. Norminators? Norminators. 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 Yeah. Mm, sounds like we hate Jews. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> The Normanators. <coughs> We're know. making the world normal, one Jew at a time. Let's go to the chat real quick. De <laughs> Deepu chat first. Sure. Robert Anthony says, Robin Williams has better improv skills now than Lewis does. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, I literally, I hope you get c cancer. <laughs> Deepu for picking that? No, or? no, that guy. Oh, that guy. <laughs> I hope you get cancer and you fucking die. I really mean that. Why the fuck would you <laughs> well, say that? Well, he started it, Bob. <laughs> wow. he, did, he said you know One have... less fucking Bob, whatever your guys are called. The fucking Bob <laughs> dudes. The dudes. <laughs> One less dudes. dude in the world. Sorry. The dudes. You're either a, d you're a dude when you listen to the show. What's All up, right, dudes? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Dead. John Dead. Corey says, I love these monologues where Bobby convinces himself that he's made the right decisions in life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. After, see, after seeing what I saw at break, I, I don't think I have. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Damn> <laughs> <laughs> fucking God. Yuck says, Landscaping Talk with Bobby Kelly. Yeah, did he sing it or it, did he just say it? I'm guessing that he was singing it's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you got to get rid of that segment of the show? No more <laughs> Landscaping Talk. 
<laughs> I just talked about it today. What are you going to do? You really get into it. I've heard <laughs> about your fucking trees a lot. Really? Am I talking to trees a lot? You're talking about the it was trees a long a tree talk. It's very, it's very weird that they, it's just, it consumes your life. <laughs> you'll see when you own a house. I know, but don't uh, consume Actually, you'll ours. never see. But no, I'll Mark, see my neighbor's you'll see. house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'll have you over. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Robert Olivia says, what does Lewis know about dad problems besides avoiding getting stabbed? Mmm, uh, Puerto Rican stereotype. Uh, that was just a true statement. That wasn't even. No, that was that was. Just, he was just stating fact. Yeah, uh, that was somebody from Time Magazine. Yeah, <laughs> but he means stabbed by that gay Indian fella. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Uh, Ominous Storm fan says, "I saw a cute transgendered girl today. See, we're slowly converting people, returning uh, them onto. You know, I don't think we're kind of slowly yeah. doing it. <laughs> like, really it's very fuck, nice. Trying to fucking put people on a Japanese speed train to fucking Trandyville." <laughs> I rock to rap says, I'm a real ass dude, but I don't want to talk about dumbbells. Huh. But I was helping my friend Robert live life, asshole, okay? <coughs> I don't mean to say that you're a real ass dude. But my friend Robert is working out by himself. He's flying solo. He has no understanding how to set his own physical goals. Yeah. So it's like running a race without a, a, a finish line. And I don't want to watch him fucking kill himself. So if you want to enjoy the show for years to come, please let me help Bobby not die of heart disease. Dick. Whoa. Well said. Now, I don't know why thing. that why that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. that was the, that's the heart disease. Yeah. The only way, <laughs> that was the garlic knots from earlier. The only way to relieve this tension is with a rock garden. <laughs> River rock, river stone. <laughs> Fuck both of you. You know what? <laughs> you young fucking assholes. I would love a rock garden. Are you what? kidding me? Of course you would. I would. <laughs> sure you're not Are you sure you're not gay? Are you gay? What, what do you got in the regular chat? Was uh, it? The regular chat is literally a wall of Go My Two Night. Wow! There you go. Oh. Is it the same one? Six, yeah, it's two people. Six people. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, now this is what you do real quick. Block those two people. You got <laughs> it. <laughs> I want them Go gone. Mites. I want them gone. Yeah. I want to exterminate them like real mites. <laughs> The problem is they always come back in a new account. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know. They're, they are, they're really... A they don't die, they multiply. <laughs> no, they don't. They just fuck. They don't... That's two of them. Um, what was the thing about Rogan you read in the chat? What was that? Uh, I deleted that comment, but... Uh, Why? It was just on my queue. Uh, someone said that Joe Rogan's probably a better fighter than Dante. Mm. Wow, you're... Yeah. Uh, you Dante think? is older and injured. You mean it's Joe Rogan, fight. the guy who fucking, uh, like, take down a grizzly bear right. with his hands? <laughs> yeah. First of all, Joe Rogan, uh, that, but that was, a uh, that, you should have snipped that one. That wasn't true. He didn't actually, um, <laughs> like, that, that mountain lion, that was a fake story. Dude, I, I don't even, I was joking. I was, I, I was... Well, no, I that was a story that came out that he, like, wrestled the mountain lion down yeah, and choked I, it out. What? I wasn't even, yeah. I wasn't even going, that, that wasn't even what That's I was talking wild. about. Well, you named it a story that came out as a fucking rumor a couple months ago. Well, no, it's not. It's a totally different. One was a grizzly bear. One was a mountain lion. Okay. It's you had that's not true. Like I just made a true well, statement. I thought you were referencing. No, the I wasn't fucking referencing mountain anything. Lion thing. The point is. Don't fucking throw my joke under the table. Your stupid fact story. You don't throw it under the table. You throw it under the bus. Go ahead. <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. But what's no, under the table is a gay Indian. Joe Rogan uh, is like a legitimate fucking dude who is in shape. Who is like is like. He's he looks like an athlete. He has muscles. He's fucking <coughs> Dante's at this point, fucking injured. He has a cane. And he has right. to walk around and, and limp. There's no even if if Dante and Joe were completely um, the same age and in the same type of sh uh, shape, I still think Joe Rogan would annihilate Fuck Dante. Yeah. Joe Rogan was a former like uh, Taekwondo national champion. He's a Brazilian really? Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Oh my God, Joe man. Rogan would annihilate almost anybody. Mm. Right. Any comic. Any easily, comic. easily. Any comic. No. Any non-professional fighter, dude. A guy yeah. that, that knows how to fight, that he's made martial arts his life. <coughs> yeah. his, it's an instinct of his. If you want to attack him, he could have you unconscious within seconds. Right. He could. Like, I was saying this yesterday about John Jones. If you got locked in a room with Joe Rogan, he could literally take your body apart and put it in separate corners of the fucking room. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> wow. He could do that. He could do that with his fucking body. So. Are you a fan? No, I hate him. I want to fight him. Let's <laughs> go, oh. Rogan. Oh, there would be no. nothing better than you just piss Joe off by accident. Got him. Oh, yeah. I just want to fight. be a fucking... Yeah, he uh, hates compliments. I'd leave Bobby. I'd leave Big J, Death Squad, <laughs> Louis J. Gomez. Oh, day. you'd fucking leave us. Oh. You'd leave everything. Oh, give if, me the if, opportunity. If, if Rogan said, look, just hey, hey, come here, move out of here. I'm going to put you on Death Squad. I talk to Redman. 
We're going to put you, we're going to give you your own show, MMA, Real Ass Dude. It's going to be both. You get the studio. Wow. And we want you out here right now to be part of Death Squad. You're Question gonna, me. If I, I want you on my show, I want you on my show as much as you can do it. Wow. What, what happens if I accidentally turn one of the dials to the wrong setting on the board when he's not there? Does he freak he, out at me? He takes your arm off. Okay, all right. So he does. He <laughs> reacts the same way as you. Very yeah, physically threatening. Okay, okay. He'll take your arm off. This yeah. might be a shot in the dark and kick me in the balls here, but do you think maybe it's at some psychological level you're looking for a, like a strong father? <laughs> you what? think? Mark, maybe. Do yeah. you think? Okay, so I'm not crazy? No, no. that's true. Okay. Of course he is. Interesting. I've had, I've had, <coughs> as I've soon had, as he gets one, he rejects them. Ah. I've had therapists kind of break that down. Uh huh. Because you, know? you like yeah. the strong male fucking figure. Yes, you know, of course figure. he does. Yeah. And loves him on top of him, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've also, That's why he loves grappling so much. Ah. I've, no, I've come in and, and I've. He likes to hug fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I've, I've let fucking dudes. Like mentor me in senses, guys like Bobby and Big yeah. J. It's like I don't think everybody does that, and I mm -hmm. think it might come from the fact that I didn't have a father growing up, and I allow. Did Big J teach you how to wear black? Um, I got it. Okay, you got it. Yeah, yeah it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did he teach you? You said it with the confidence, like you fucking thought of the best I joke. Yeah, I said it. No, I said it with the confidence, like it was a great racist yeah. joke. <laughs> black. I, I said black like Anthony would. <laughs> <laughs> the hard ER. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think that's a, a thing in life. I think, it, you know, the, me and Dave Smith have talked about it, it yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. Just, just talk about it now. You don't have to give us references. Gaunt! Me and Dave talked about this. Just talk about it now, dummy. We don't need the origin story of your fucking thoughts. <laughs> well, the, I'm saying he's a similar type of person. Yeah. He didn't have a father figure in his uh, life. And he's no, who the of... fuck did? I did. Now, raise your I hand. Dad. You did. All right, you had a dad? Yeah. You had a dad? Well, up until six I years ago when he sure disowned you, him. Yeah. <laughs> you sure you didn't have two moms? <laughs> when his voice never changed, he was like, I'm out. <laughs> this kid's balls are never going to drop. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone's dropped in his mouth. <laughs> Wait, has, you, I can't bring him to the fucking ball game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he can't come to the Elks. Artie, Artie Lang yeah, is Artie, dead. Uh, every, time, Artie every, Lang. every time he mows the lawn, he starts humming. <laughs> <laughs> You can sacrifice the sacro sitting in the back row. Uh, uh, <laughs> when you're a jet, you're a jet all the way from your I first said, shut game. up, goddammit, <laughs> Harris. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> I, we did have a backwards. My sister was the athlete and I was a musical theater. Uh -huh. So we were reversed. She was the goalie. Uh, the old Dyke and Fag Club. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. Mark. Sorry, I got real. Mark Norman. I was wow. doing his dad. Uh, Mark oh. Norman at 12.27.13 of the podcast. <laughs> I held it in. That wasn't Jeez. easy. That's Mark's impressions. <laughs> Mr. Greenbaum. I was also the one who farted. It really wasn't. It really wasn't. It really wasn't. It started over there. Yeah, it started ah. there. It came here. How else is that? Yeah, happen? I would uh, maybe it leak, leaked out. I don't know. There's no, that was definitely a guy's asshole who's never had anything in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take the fart. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You know, the Shot nose not. Game. What's that? He did a shot not. Everybody shot not. The I don't last know what person is, the, is it. Is it. What the last mean? person the... has had a dick in their ass. Get it? Oh, so it's... <laughs> no, it would be like... <laughs> no, I did it way before you did no, it. Here's yeah, but like, you took it off. When that's you on found the nose. Was. When you found it was a dick in the ass, you went, oh, no. <laughs> oh, I never mind. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I think... Uh, I, I mean, I know I... This is the greatest thing one of my, my therapists said to me was that you, you stop looking for a father figure. You're that. You're the father now. Mm. Right. He goes, you're done. You're, he goes, you're never going to have a father. You're not going to have anybody to help you. Nobody's going to fuck. You're the guy now. But he is so a father. So go make the decisions. I see. He is I now. He but, is. I, but I, and I think there is something true to that. I, I never yeah. even thought about that. Yeah. But I do have a weird thing in me. It, may be, it might even be a chip on my shoulder where I go like, no, I don't want to be looked What's at that? as a, 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 what? It's a dick what? on my shoulder. A chip on, what? A chip on yeah. my shoulder. So, uh, but doesn't it also feel like you're overproving your masculinity? Like you go out of your way to, I'm a real dude. Yeah, like, I feel think? like real dudes don't have yeah. to say that, right? Yeah, you think? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, he's saying he's that you overcompensate. Yeah, you, yeah. you yeah, have to overcompensate. Fake ass dude. Because you're not a real ass dude. Yeah, but I mean, that comes from, like, look, you're right, but it comes from, I mean. So real ass dudes and Gomites aren't really real I mean, no, ass dudes. It, no, look, here's the thing. They're all of us, it. you're tongue in cheek. All of us, they're faking it. All of us want to just be fucking held by our mommies. Let's get real, okay? That's what we are as fucking human beings, okay? Uh -huh. So, yeah, I didn't wait, have wait, a whole lot of time out. I never mind. All right, listen, Doug Stanhope, you're not, okay? Stop telling us the way it is. <laughs> it is. No, <laughs> it isn't. We are. We, all, don't want, we don't want to get hugged by our mommies. Yes, we do. Every no, we one don't. of us.
us. Every one of Not us. Not by our mommies. We want to get hugged by our dads. No. Our moms gave us the love. Our moms loved us. We want our dad to go, you did a good job. I'm proud of you. That's what we're searching you're, for. You're missing the point of what I'm saying. Then okay? what's the point? We want well, stop so, we yelling want a, at us. Like we, we want a parent to fucking embrace us and all of that. Yeah, all of, a parent. Any little thing, your fagginess, his fucking meatheadedness, <laughs> my brood, <laughs> brutishness. I'm saying I'm more of a real this. dude. Let me finish this. Oh. Your brutishness. Oh. What did you say? I said I'm more of a real dude because I'm willing to just be who I am. Oh. That's true. Oh. Harrison, oh. Oh. Harrison's a real ass dude. Harrison's a real ass dude. Wait, stop, 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 stop. That's going like this. Harrison's a real ass dude. <laughs> Harrison's a real ass dude. Harrison, you're a closeted homosexual. That's how stop we get telling me you're a real ass dude. Double dutch. Listen uh, to me. I feel like okay. that was more overcompensated. Every, yeah, you're everybody overcompensated. everybody you're has their own insecurities, and sure. they, we act the way we act because of whatever bullshit in our life. So, yeah, when I'm doing the fucking real ass dude thing, and I'm a guy who's in the gym boxing and lifting weights, yeah, there's a reason, dude. You're right about that, but it doesn't mean that you're any more real than I am because you're a little <coughs> bit more comfortable in that area of life. No, there's, I'm sure there's areas in life where you're way less comfortable than me. Oh, absolutely. You know, so like it's where? not... Where I'm way less comfortable? Around vagina? <laughs> they around dicks. I was going to turn Well, yeah, around. I mean, like, to, yeah, to sit there and go, like, oh, well, you, you act that way because you're insecure of who you are. Yeah, we all act this way because we're insecure right, of who we right, are. Right, right, right. Whatever, yeah. whatever thing about you, I can literally go, oh, that's because you're insecure. Every, the elephant room with you yeah, is that yeah, you act that, like you're yeah, gay. Yeah, that a dude has to be, you like, wait, muscular wait, wait, wait. working out. Like, I feel like I mean, we're past look, that. Well, he doesn't act like he's gay. He acts a feminine. Right. Different. Yeah, it, there's a different. big difference. Big difference. Right. I, I mean, we assume we we associate that with guys who are there's gay. There's a conflation. But he of, is uh, a yeah. feminine. He's being, not. Being, doesn't act gay. Being funny. I know. Is, I know guys who act like gay guys that are act like you. Right. I know gay guys right. that are like, dude, I'll fucking suck your dick right now. Right. Real ass dude. Right. So the whole the, the whole idea of doing comedy that comes from a place of of insecurity and us trying to fucking Absolutely. it's just it's a personality trait being funny. So just like any, I, I don't really understand how you would point your finger at me and go like, oh dude, you're not very real because you gotta no, always no, put I'm on this thing. You know, I'll tell you. No, can I tell you why? Because yeah. we're kidding. Right. It's, yeah. We're trying to be yeah, funny. You, made it, you really you made, it real. made it very. Yeah. 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 You really are real yeah. ass dude. You make everything real. real. Fucking idiot. We're gonna fucking. It didn't seem like a joke. Well, what Joe, are we gonna do? Fucking write ha ha on our chest after we're done? <laughs> I'm sorry that you didn't get it. Maybe because you're sensitive on the subject. Right. I am. Maybe yes. we, we struck a nerve. We struck uh, a nerve. Well, no, I'm talking about some real shit. I'm talking about. Well, this is a real ass dude podcast. This is you know what, dude. So lighten it up, you fucking hippie. Oh, sorry. Anyway, about the rock garden. <laughs> hey, the rock garden is goddamn. All right, I'll take the pounding for it. But when you come over, you're gonna love the rock garden. If you fuck, you can't sit at the rock. Now you can't sit at the rock garden. <laughs> no fire pit. Oh. Rock garden I sit you. at the little kid rock garden for all the other younger comics. <clears throat> I, I really bugs me that you guys you guys did that. What? At the party. What? You guys sat by yourselves. That's what Bobby also does. He likes to turn it on us. Ah. Like I, I'm like Bobby. I was like, you didn't really talk to me at that party. You're like, dude, it fucking bugs me that you fucking sat at a different table. Yeah, I'm not gonna and let go me and ignore sit you. At the big table. Let me ignore you. Why? Let me ignore Why? you, dude. I, would get I didn't ignore you. I was I had you the host of the party. Does not fucking talk to everybody. You talked to everybody but the smaller comic table. No, Ouch. I, no, it was really you. If you <laughs> left that table, if you left that table, I would have talked to everybody. <laughs> it is scary going over that table, though. I'll be honest. I, I know what that's about. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like the Forrest Gump. You can't sit here. I just picture Keith saying that. Hang on one second. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that, I almost got through the whole thing. Put that, that over I, your there's character. There's a high school element, though. <laughs> What? Of course. High school element. Like no, abs table dude, absolutely. A lunch table. I understand yeah. it, but I mean, uh, to hold on to a resentment for a year and, and then bring it, it's pretty funny. Oh, it was epic. a year ago? Yeah, a year ago. Oh, last year. my God. Dude, last year. I didn't hold on to a resentment. Dude, it came out like it happened yesterday. You're, yeah. You invited me to your child's second birthday party yesterday. So it reminded me of the time you ignored me at your party. I didn't ignore you at my party. I just, you're not that compelling. <laughs> <laughs> and you keep on saying things like I didn't ignore you. I just don't like you, so I didn't look at you. That's the same thing. He's You're little, deflecting, he's, Bobby. No, that's, You're not deflecting. A, that's not the same thing. No, that's, he's saying that's that honestly. He I finds really... rocks more interesting. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, it's gonna be a great party. You're gonna be missed. Do you want to come, Mark? I would love to come. All right. Well, you can't this year, but next year, <laughs> if you're still doing as good as you are now, all right. So look, because right. I don't have, I have a, like a little guy table and a big guy. I don't have a middle. A middle yeah. yeah. I don't have where you're at in the business table. Damn it, Scopo. Harrison, you can come. <laughs> <laughs> Only if there's dudes there. 
Yeah, give that the bone. Really? <laughs> yeah, you know why? That was pretty good, dude. No, the it's silence gonna... after it was epic. Of course there it was like dudes uh, there. People listening yeah, actually thought the equipment failed. <laughs> <laughs> the power went out. Uh, well, that sucks. You can't come, dude. Yeah. I really, I, I wanted I you. I wanted to. I really wanted to. What, what, what time are you going to be? Are you, you going to be out there? Why don't you come for the day and then go back up? I'm, I'm middling a show at the end of it last night for an hour, but it's weird. Um, <laughs> who's, who's headlining the other nights? Big J. Oh, okay, ah. gotcha. So you're, okay, that's good. Which so you're there from Wednesday to Monday? Wednesday to Sunday. Well, yeah, I come back Monday. Fuck. Ooh, it's that's, a long... That's a lot of Connecticut. Jeez. It is, but yeah. I'll tell you... It's, it's a lot uh, in one place. I'll yeah. tell you yeah. what's changed the, the whole layout, because... Really? Con, you can't, not, the layout's great, but here's what's changed the, the game for the whole fucking thing. They what, put a what, Starbucks... What do you mean, whole thing? They put a Starbucks in Foxwoods now. They didn't have a Starbucks before. There was no good coffee. They had, a Starbucks. They had a Starbucks last time. No, I know. They just but did it How recently. does that help the show? He, no, the shows no, are terrible. <laughs> but yeah, he doesn't care about the show. He, <laughs> the cares, about his, he cares about his. He cares about the end of his set. Going to the machine. gym. Yeah. Going to the gym. Getting a Starbucks. They have a great uh, gym too. Go sauna. They go sauna too. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. A what? A what? A, a sauna. A what? Sauna. Sauna. A sauna. Yeah. A sauna. Yeah. What the fuck is a sauna? He's got an audience in the sauna. Can you fucking Google sauna? I don't know what a sauna is. S a u n a. How do you say it? Sauna. I, I really so am nice. shadow. I, so nice. I wish you had the dumbbell that you had that hit you in your face. <laughs> I'd throw it right in this fucking dummy sauna face. Sauna. 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 <clears throat> I don't know how we got to the fucking Foxwoods from the Joe Rogan thing. Oh, yeah. To you. I don't know what the fuck happened. No, because we're talking about the weekend. And he's the said, father. Yeah. Father, yeah. yeah. Oh. father. I do think that you're more of a man than Lewis. Wow. Yeah, I, oh. I do. I mean, not, dude, not for nothing. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It depends on how, what you. What do you mean by? How do you define what is more of a man? You know. <laughs> That's a what? Bob Dylan lyric. <laughs> that was pretty fucking intense. Hey, well, how do you define? I can't do a Bob Dylan impression either. Apparently. We got define it. what is more of a man. <laughs> Bob Dylan. I wish Dan was here. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Where is Dan? He's, he's uh, probably uh, <laughs> doing another show. Succeeding. Yeah. Succeeding somewhere. <laughs> Him and Joe List. Joe List is doing great, too. What a he's year. What a oh year. My God. What a fucking, yeah. we I don't know if we can Jeez. talk about it, really. But. He was no. upset. He was upset. He wanted to come today. He, he, he got, got his own half hour. Yeah, yeah. We, can't, we can't talk about the other thing. Yeah, no, we, we can't. can't he's in the promo. We, There's a well, promo on the uh, website. He's, but you can't talk about uh, any. Yeah, okay. just, yeah. No worries. Yeah. No worries. But he's doing very well. He's doing great. And I'm very happy. That makes me so happy when you fucking turds do well. <laughs> um, really. As long as I'm doing well, too. <laughs> or better. If, well, I don't have to be better. Just well as. <laughs> I don't mind if you guys pass kind of we together. It really, it's so funny because I think until you have a little bit of success, you're just praying for your friends to fail around you. Really? Why? Because it's so hard to watch your friends pass you in this business. I think and then when you get a little bit, you, then it starts to ease up. Then you start rooting for your buddies. I don't think right. so. I always, when my friends succeeded, I always had some, I, um, I looked at it as something to look forward to or to aspire to. Mm. When I saw, it was one of the things, like when I remember Patrice, when he started uh, doing good, I was like, oh shit. I, one of the reasons I moved back to New York, because I realized that Patrice... And and uh, and Norton and them were becoming better comics. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my god, I'm fucking like two years behind these fucks. Wow, these guys how'd you feel six years behind them? <laughs> well, just my comedy in general. <laughs> you know, so I started it like four, and then add the actual two years. But you definitely, I mean, I I will definitely fess up. When you see on Facebook all your friends doing well, and you think you're at their level, and you there's definitely jealousy and anger that you can't not help feeling. Really? I yeah. mean, there's other. I mean, I try. I not, do not. I try to not let that. I do feel not. You, that, you passed that threshold a long time ago. I dude. do not. I yeah. do not get mad. I, I really. When my friends get something, I feel. <coughs> I, I Heartburn. <laughs> I feel that it's uh, non-related. I feel. I, I really. I really it's have a motivation. thing of a like, goddamn. That's great, and it is motivation because now I know somebody who unlocked a room that mm. I can kind of. Oh, how did you right. do that? Oh, cool. Yeah, but you're doing well. Yeah, right, but, I yeah, think you, that's you're, the key. You're, you're, yeah, but right. dude, I'm 20 years in the fucking business. Right. Over 20 years. I'm 20, 25 years in the business. Yeah, we know you're old. Okay, but the, um, <laughs> that wasn't a band. That was, <laughs> was, was just hurtful. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't get the bitterness when a friend, I get a bitterness when I'm looking on Facebook. I'm like, that guy got that's it. That's what I'm talking that about. That fucking guy. That's what I'm talking about. Mean, bitterness is the wrong word. Yeah. I'm talking about like just, just in the and purest that's not form. Bitterness, that's just jealousy, like, what dude. Yeah. You, that's right. what, yeah, that's what I'm right. talking about. Jealousy. I don't get, yeah. how do you get jealous though? Why do you get jealous? I don't it's understand. Like, oh, I'm not talking about the wrong word. Jealousy is the wrong word. It's that frustration where you go, how did that guy get that? Let's be honest. Hang on a second. I don't want that feeling. Hang on. Let's be honest. What? Tell me. 
jealousy. Who you got jealous from? I'll tell you an exact example. When I me and Dave right. Smith both uh, went out from Montreal the year that he got uh -huh. it, it fucking nearly killed me inside. Really? Because it's like, dude, we yeah, started right. together. And you go, you go like, you, we're just kind of neck and neck. We're doing our things. And then he gets this fucking thing. Well, no, I've passed Dave three times by now. But at the time. <laughs> you think you've passed? But why do you. Can I say something, really? On the, the, when you think in these terms. I'm of, kidding about that. I know, but. Yeah. I know, but when you. Uh, just let me say this. When you think in passing and being beneath or above. Right. At, it's a very sick way and it's an unhealthy way. Of course. To have uh to think about this whole process that we're in which is stand-up comedy okay when you think of yourself as better or worse than that means you're treating people better or worse than and uh, you don't want to you can't get into that mode like a big you, table or a small table at a barbecue well, here's the thing <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't pick the table they're all <laughs> they're all just tables i didn't have fucking hey i didn't have name tags lewis over here <laughs> um, just said presents we no knew. presents well yeah. it's it's <laughs> It's it, when you think like that, you're kind of fucked. Look, people always give me, why don't you have your friend like or Colin or Keith or Norton and stuff like that? I could, I, especially back in the day when I started this, they wanted me to have more of my friends on, but I really like meeting new comics and younger guys that were fucking not my friends. And it was almost like I, I learned more from you guys, mm. like the hustle. Having young comics on kept me in the game for uh -huh. the last couple of years because I was like, these motherfuckers are going to five shows a night yeah. on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I can't fucking just take all week off. I gotta, when I can't take Fridays and Saturday night. If I can work in the city, it's like I saw what you guys hustled at and it kind of motivated me. As, as Just like a Norton or a Colin Quinn so <coughs> motivates me. Uh, Gomovation. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but yeah. yeah. He's, he's trying to get a yeah. fucking Sufi going. That's what he's trying to do. He wants uh, a he wants a uh, fucking Sufi. He thinks because his talent isn't good enough, he thinks if he gets a Sufi, he'll hurtful. do a college turn. That's hurtful, Bob. Yeah, it, it was meant to be a little hurtful, but funny too. <laughs> but uh, just it was more hurtful because nobody laughed at it. I forgot what the Sufi <laughs> it wasn't was. as funny as it should have been. Reverse. Yeah. But you got Bagok, Bagok, hold on to Bagok. <laughs> <laughs> Something. But I think you got to just use that as motivation. You got to turn uh, the motivation. Because, like, the guys Five I know who didn't get a half hour. You try to do it that way. I think you. I know, at first, it's like, ah, oh, fuck. Then you're like, all right, yeah, now I got to do no, this. Also, you get mad at the industry. Get mad at, don't get mad at the comics. Oh, hate course. the industry. That's my oh, move. Absolutely. But, but, you can't, but here's the only, the only field you can't be denied in cornfields is comedy. Do you understand? Wait, no, that makes you can be denied all the time. You cannot. You cannot. They can't take it away from you. Well, he's sort of just being undeniably funny. They can't take, away, they if can't you, take away your funny, but you, they can't no, 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 deny no. you the Listen. things that you're trying to get. Yeah, but you don't need fucking uh, half hour. You, no, don't need, you, don't. you don't need Montreal. You don't need any festivals. Nope. You don't need shit. You don't That's need why shit. I haven't done them. It's because I just don't need what, them. It does if, help, but, but you, you don't need them. If your comedy, <laughs> if your comedy will prevail, if you're that funny, it may take longer. It may, it, you never know. You right, might not right. do all the bullshit. You may never do Tonight Show or let it. You, you don't need any of that shit. You don't. You can still make a fucking living, pay your bills, and be noted as a funny motherfucker in this business if you're funny. And nobody can take that away from you. Right. That's right. it. Because if you're funny, the clubs are going to want to book you. But can I ask you a question? Uh, I, yes. uh, hang, on. hang on. Let me answer. And you're, no, hang on. Wait. Yes, you can. Go ahead. You're definitely right about that. <laughs> Wait a minute. I changed my mind. Maybe no. <laughs> Norman, Mark, you go. <laughs> maybe it's even proof to what you're saying because there is nobody, I don't know anybody who's really fucking funny, like really funny, who's been in the business for a really long time that hasn't gotten any success. Mm. I don't know anybody. I don't no, get name, really name, hold on, name the 20 year vet that's really fucking funny. Right. No, no, right. I can that just never vets. never did anything and has never gotten anything. They usually, it, it kind of figures itself out. The guys that are funny will eventually, even it, if they have a shitty it, career, it, they have a career. Right, but I can name some vets who are really funny who should have more than they what? have. What? Well, well, sure. But why, well, why well, should they have, they have more than they have? What, what, what don't they have? Can they work? Do they make a living doing comedy? Yeah, of course. Well, what the fuck do you want? But I mean, like, what do you want to be? So you're talking about the where English. is the end? Is it Jerry Seinfeld? Is it is it Little Kev? Is it Dane Cook? Yeah, just is because we decided to tell jokes, I think there's this romanticism that people associate with comedy, where we go like, "Well, no, you're telling jokes. It's the most pure thing on earth. We don't all deserve to be billionaires. Not everybody's no. that fucking good." That sure. is, that is no, the luck of the fucking draw. Right. That is when this meets that, and fucking this happens. 
And if, if you're trying to be famous, if your goal is to be famous, you could add that into the mix, and I'm sure you could get further along. <clears throat> but if you're just trying to do stand-up, you will, if you're trying to be as funny and honest as you can <laughs> and work as hard as you can, that over 10, 20 years, that's going to prevail, and you'll have a job. You will work. And yeah. it will happen. And they can't take it away. Oh, no, Nobody can take I it mean, away I, from you. That's, yeah. No, you're different. You will fail. <laughs> you will. If you don't go full gay, you're done on this but there, there, I feel like there is. It's like Tropic Thunder, you never go full gay. There's too low of a, a barrier <laughs> never go, of. Never go full gay. <laughs> never go full gay. <laughs> I feel like there's too low of a barrier of entry in comedy. I feel like there should be a thing where somebody, you have to show up in an office and they go, all right, you're at least funny. You're at least a funny person. Right. Never, and you can start doing this. Dude, if you, if I you, think you're right. I have no yeah. rhythm. I couldn't just say, hey, I'm going to be a professional dancer now. I couldn't walk in and be like, hey, dude, can I uh, start auditioning <laughs> to fucking yeah. be a dancer? Yeah. It, it's, it's ridiculous. There's no, like, literally people just go like, oh, okay, well, I'll just go be a comedian now. Yeah. It's the but only even, job even of the first day they, of that thing. Yeah, they like. I, but even more, like, they call themselves a comedian. Like, if you are just starting in comedy, yeah, anybody should be able to just start comedy. But, like, you're not a, I, I did a, I did a hosting a new talent show at Comics, but five years ago and somebody handed me his business card it's a professional comedian said how many shows have you done he's like this is my first show yeah that's not a comedian the card no comic has a fucking card no well, yeah. no not if they're if, funny I love when people go do you have a card no because I'm a stand up right, right here's right. a sticker for my podcast <laughs> yeah that's yeah. fine yeah. by the way I literally took that from you I was like that's brilliant Bobby doesn't hand out cards like a fucking idiot yeah. shit comic he goes I have this thing this piece of content here go listen to this podcast yeah. take a flyer or a sticker or yeah. whatever yeah. very smart but what you do with Scopo is the right thing to do you, you, you said, come back in a year, go get funny. I w more people should do that. It well, hurts, but it's well, helpful. Well, here's the thing is that I was taking, you know, I would take Lewis and, and Joe and whatever, Dan even too, uh, earlier, and that was great. But they were, they were, but he, I would take him and he wasn't, he would, you wouldn't do that well. And it was like, dude, if, if, because these guys are moving on. Well, no, I you're would the see next, that. I would you're see the next, that yeah. and I'm like, I want to be that, I want to be where they are. Yeah. Right? That's what motivated right. me. I want to just get to the, where they are right. and be funnier. Yeah, right. so he went more, on more, eBay more. and bought a, 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 a bunch of jokes. <laughs> and now. <laughs> well, I put the comedy. Uh, a thousand Bible. and one yeah. one-liners yeah. and put downs. <laughs> no, but he went out and got funnier. And yeah. he's going to move on someday, too. And so sure. is it fucking Deepu. That's the name of the fucking game is that these guys get funnier and then they don't have time to be on the show. Who, you know? who was the but comic? Can I say something, though? Yeah. And I really, I mean this, is that, <clears throat> and I know guys above you, above me, that have the same complex, that you're either beneath me or above me. Mm -hmm. It's a shitty way to be. Yeah. It, it really is, because you'll be miserable most of the time, because someone's always going to be above you. You understand? Someone's always going to be doing better than you, no matter who the fuck you are. Right. Okay? And you're always going to come down. Yeah. And that coming down is going to be a motherfucker. It's hard. It's just yeah. a hard. So when you're looking at uh, where you, who's above him, you got to look at this. This is a job. We're all comedians. And you have no control over any, it, what you do, what you do, what you do has no consequence in my fucking career. No. How good you do, how awesome, it has no, has no bearing on it. I have the full responsibility of my career. That's it. Okay? I can fucking either... I can get opportunities, but if I can't act, I'm done. I'm, I'm on TV. Oh, Bob stinks as an actor. That's it. It's done. Or Bob's really good. Hey, we should use him in something else. That's my... <clears throat> I got that opportunity. I showed up here. I met him. Can you do this? I did it. And then it went into something else. And it kind of, But that's all me. Absolutely. You know, whether you get help from your friends is great too, but you can't... I can't look at these guys that are above me and be fucking bummed but out. I think I got to look at them and be inspired. I think it's nearly and impossible. And I got to look beneath me and be inspired too. Sure. But I think it's nearly impossible if you have no success. To to this what the point I was making was before I had any success at all, before I had any fans, before I had any any credits or anything or was in any clubs, it was very difficult to watch the guys that you were with. I remember when Justin Silver got in the cellar. We were just all just fucking young comics that weren't doing shit. Nobody had anything. And then Justin fucking started flirting with the wait staff here. They got, they all loved him. He would come in and just be around. And then he got an audition one day, did well, and he got in before anybody did. He wasn't on TV. He had never done anything mm. in comedy. And I remember. Yeah, where is he now though? Picking up dog. No, he quit. But, the, but no, I'm kidding. <laughs> he, but quit? The, he quit. Yeah, he doesn't wow. do comedy. Anymore. He quit comedy. Whoa. Yeah. He, he's fucking living in Venice Beach. Just fucking. Did he really quit comedy? Doing yeah. gay chicken. Oh. Doing the gay chicken. I was joking. Still doing the dog stuff. Yeah. Um, so, oh, wow. but I remember the feeling as a young comic without anything. Like all I had was fuck, dude. I need to get in a club. 
and just the feeling of being like, yeah, but that, Fuck, what's uh, going on? And I think it's impossible for young comics me, to, to uh, kind of well, hurry it up. That. You're fucking, you're going on and on. Well, I'm really, I, I, I get the point. My, but you, but you, what I'm saying to you is, he, whatever way he got in the cellar has no bearing on the way you're going to get in the cellar. Right, I, no, I understand and it that. Does, so you can fucking sit there and pine over it and bitch about it and moan, and then all of a sudden you have this fucking horse shit with you everywhere you fucking go. Believe me, the most important thing in this business is to be a good person. Because if you can fucking go, I like working with that guy. He's cool. Yeah, it was that fun. Helps. They're going to bring you back, or they're going to tell the next guy, oh, he's great yeah. to work with. That's important. That's yeah. also but if a you're a thing. But if you're a fucking asshole or an ego, or you don't know your fucking worth, and you're on the thing, and you're talking and yapping, or fuck, and the, oh, that guy's just annoying. You're done. Yeah, that's right. fucking done. That I table talk. I think it's also like if you were going to high school, everything is separated in grades. But if you went to school and there were no grades and everybody was competing for the same grades, uh, you would be resentful of the senior. But like, of course, the senior's doing better. He's been yes. in, the, in the school for longer. Yes. So there's no grade. The problem. The, there's no divisions in comedy. You're interacting with everybody. Look, if you're if you're twenty so something, if you're twenty, you if you're twenty something years in the business and you are not working and making paying your rent, you might not be a comic. Quit. Yeah. You might yeah. not be a comic. You might this might you might be look for something else. Yeah. But if you oh, no, I want to do a show called Stop It where we go up to comics and other artists and what is it? Like, stop it's gonna be called Stop It. We go up to failed artists to stop, stop it. it. And we give them one more Are chance to sure do a show. What? Are you sure? <laughs> your your dream is to have a show called Stop It. Stop it. Uh, Get your, out. His other dream is don't his other dream show is don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Fo followed up by uh, just because you post the up on it, don't make it a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't bad. Uh, oh boy. No, you just get to like a fat ballerina. You're just like, you get one more show, otherwise I'm paying you for call law me? school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's funny because we all, we all keep saying, you keep saying, you don't need a presents, you don't need a half hour, you don't need this. And then we went, Jolis is doing great, but he's doing great because he got those things. Yeah, but here's right. the thing. And he's feeling great too. But about can it. I say something? Stop. What he did was he just went and worked on his act. Yes. What he, he did. did, this is all he did. I just, he just went and became funnier. Yeah. And when the opportunity, the other stuff just happens. He went, I would say this, the, the reason why I went back to the gym. I can control. I, I have to go. I had to go back to what I control. I can wake up and go to the gym. I can not eat fucking shitty food. I can try to be positive, okay, and um, and I can try to be creative. That's all I can control. Yeah. Okay. Look, I have a show, and I still panic. Okay, I still panic about gigs and and places I've played that I haven't been back to. People still. When are you coming back here? And I don't know. I don't know if this show goes and it's a hit. Great. What if it doesn't? What if I'm not a hit? What? A, who the fuck knows? I have no idea. I still have these fears. You know what I mean? But the only thing I can do is be try to fucking be funnier. Try to be yeah. great. Yeah. You know how many guys? Now watch. I've seen so many of you fucking guys come up and soar past me. What? You know, seriously, things as far as in my head where I could go, oh, this guy just got this show or this MTV mm. or he's got, you know, uh, this many followers or this... None of it matters. And none of it matters. It's like, fuck, put the blinders on. Just right. Put the fucking blinders on. You can be creative, spiritual, whatever the fuck. The things that you can, physical, spiritual, creative. Yeah, absolutely. That's all you can control. You can't fucking sit there and, because you'll go f out of your mind. If you have people beneath you or above you, it's a shit way to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Chris you know Rock I mean? had that great quote. He's like, the jokes will take you as far as they can. Yeah, I couldn't. So be if you're, if you're I, not where you want to be, do jokes. I wouldn't be able to be friends with Colin if it was a above and beneath thing. Right, right. I have, I, I, you know, let's just be friends and treat each other as equals. You know what I mean? I mean, there's certain things that, you know, you know, you have to, you're on the road with me, don't be a fucking dickhead, you're the opening guy, don't go out and go, hey, how you fucking queers doing? There's certain job things that you have to keep in respect yeah. to where you're at. It's you know true. what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. When I, yeah. when I used to middle, I, especially when I used to I do fucking that shit with Dane all the time, I didn't go out and do what I do. Uh -huh. I, went out and, I went out and fucking did my job. I did my time. I got the fuck off stage. And it was hard. It was fucking hard. You want to crowd work. You want to get in there. I know what I could do. Right. I know right. what I was capable I of doing. Humor. But I was like, oh my God, okay. I can, but I know that this somehow is going to help me become better. Yeah. <laughs> because if I can turn it on and turn it, if I can do this in any parameters and still, and then my shit still got 
in that little box I was in, I got as funny as I was. Well, I right. think that's actually the definition of being a comic, where you can uh, fuck with the variables and the parameters and still be yep. as funny as you can yeah. be. So whether you're on a podcast, you're going to do a TV set where you got to be clean, yes. they make you change a joke the day before you, whatever it is, yeah. they take the parameters and they keep on fucking with them, and you still go, oh, I can just fucking do it. And there's certain guys, that's why I talk about like somebody like Pete Davidson, who's a young kid, who's 21 years old, and to be able to handle all of that shit as a young ah. kid with, with very little experience that's kind of why i think he's a special talent because i don't think any young dude who's doing comedy for four or five years can still be that ready well, we, we talked about that that's before it's like okay yeah you can be jealous of pete davison you can be jealous of michael che you can't do what they do here's here's what happens though okay they got the job jealous enough. they had to do the work yeah so it's not like they got the job and didn't fucking have to do all that work you can get the job, but you you can fail at that I fucking watched, job too. Right. I watched so Pete. these guys are fucking not failing at the job. Right. They're right. doing the fucking job. They're working their asses off, but they got the opportunity, yes, and they fucking they're killing it with the opportunity they got and doing comedy and yeah. so they're yeah, growing yeah, with yeah. The, op the, the the things they got. So how can you fuck? It's with also that? really hard to be mad at somebody like Che because he's super nice, he's super funny. But you can't so be mad. Why would you be mad at them in the first place? It has nothing. Right, that's that's a good big point. Dick. It has no, nothing. I think we stop. all have an it has interior. Not, it has nothing to do with you. Pete True. Davison's it's success true. has nothing to do with you. Of course. I mean, you can get you can fucking joke around about it. Yeah. Right. But in reality, one of us made it. Yeah. He's right. a he, one of us did it. Right. A twenty-one year old. We have to we have to overcome that sort of interior sense of justice. Though when somebody who's like an asshole or not funny gets there's something, there's no justice in this business. The, the fastest I'm not saying horse, it's right to feel the that way. The fastest I try horse not to. doesn't win the race. Of course. Right. No, I, I, Look at I'm every comic contest. With everything. No, but no, I know. the thing with comedy that actors don't have, musicians don't have. We get to work. You cannot take our shit away. Yeah. Ah. Exactly. You can't, you, we we can go and work. We can go and find a stage somewhere and right, do our shit. Right. You know what I mean? You get to work every Scope night. Up, yeah. Actors don't get to do you, that. You need, with, a, with a fucking I band, you need shows. the fucking bandwidth. Yeah. You know what I mean? You need everybody. No, it's hashtag blessed. There you go. <laughs> but it's true what you say. I, I'm sorry. We need to stop. <laughs> Can you just give him the bandana in his asshole? Uh, <laughs> not it, baby. No. <laughs> but I watched Pete hashtag at the, the cellar downstairs uh, with Dave Attell writing his roast jokes. Yeah. Right? And I remember thinking, I was like, God damn it, dude. If I had to like, present my jokes to Dave Attell, like, just ideas that Oof. I had, I would be so self-conscious. and of so course. And like, literally, he was back there <laughs> working with him. Oh, Pete. And that, uh, Pete Davidson. And I, J uh, Tal was writing Tal the jokes? With, uh, he, was he was helping him write the roast jokes. Oh, yeah. So just watching him at a table, oh. that type of pressure at, at such a young age, it's kinda, uh, that was the one moment where I went, oh, shit. Yeah, there's something about that. But that's the thing that we don't do. A lot of comics don't do anymore. You know, you sit, like me and Lenny do that a lot on the weekends. When we work the cellar, I'll come up and be like, dude, what about this? And he'll be like, oh, that. And he'll sit down and watch my set. And he'll come off. He do do this. Try I have that. A, I have a I've Thursday that. What's I have that? A, I have a Thursday writing group. We get a group of us. We meet that, every Thursday. That's silly. But <laughs> <laughs> what I'm, <laughs> yeah, that no, that whole fine. shit is fucking. Yeah, I guess, <laughs> that's a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I'm saying, while we're at the Everybody clubs, take out your pens. A lot of guys, a lot of guys, will just fucking worry about how they did and how the guy after them do. Oh yeah. And I get that. When I was a younger comic, you wanted to fucking be the guy, but then I realized that killing. Killing all the time wasn't what it was all about. All of a sudden, I started seeing guys Raping. taking le <laughs> taking lefts and rights and talking about different shit. You also killed and the it wrong was like, way. It was like, wow, that's fucking crazy. Road he's actually kill, but, he's right. actually giving his opinion right now right. in conversation form, right. and it's annihilating. How great is that? Yeah. And then you know, there's there's these levels that we learn, like school. But you know, I think that we don't we don't do that enough. We don't help each other with jokes enough. That, and when, when I moved, you know, when I moved to New York, that was I came, I was a Boston comic for four years, huh. and it was a community, and we all helped each other. You get it was not un un uncommon to like somebody walk yeah. up stage and hand you a tag. So when I moved yeah. to New York, people were freaked out. They thought, and I, I, I understand now why people thought it was disrespectful when I'd hand them a tag because they thought it, right. it was me saying I was better than right. this. Because I, you made it with crafts. <laughs> I had glitter on it. So what? There was I glitter. glitter and a uh, ribbon. But and I a do fucking, think that's what makes need that more. The animal you that's thought they need. represented. <laughs> I love when I get off stage. Like Trevor Noah, I got off stage and he had a tag. I was like, that's fucking awesome. It wasn't like, a tag. He that. called you a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you miss. You, you didn't hear but him. I thought that was really sweet. Like that's that's how His accent. You fucking tag. Fucking. 
what's up. Uh, but I, here's why I don't like when people give me a tag. It is strangers. Because friends. it's funnier than your real Dude. jokes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> friends, I don't mind. We're, we're all boys. We watch each other's acts. We know what we do. When some fucking random dude will give you a tag, you go like, ah, oh, fuck. I might have come to that on my own at uh, one point. And now this fucking asshole is going to just, every time he's not my buddy, he's going to go, ah, oh, I wrote that fucking I joke right that, there. Yeah. I agree with that. that I agree sucks. that if you don't know the guy... I mean, but look at here. I've, I gave uh, Jed Apatow a couple tags. Mm -hmm. I didn't really know him. He came off, and I was like, oh, that's really funny. Uh, what about this? It was like, oh, okay, cool. One he did like, one he didn't like, but he might have never used them. But there's a polite way to go. Oh, thanks, yeah, man. Yeah. And right. you know what? Oh, you can go, oh, I, I, you know, if, you, if it's something you had in your brain, I, I was thinking about that, too, and it kind of nullifies that horse shit. But I think, you know, dude, I, I absolutely think we need to help each other more and not... It's 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 a creative process between us, and and tell you the great ones do have people helping them write jokes. Oh, totally, oh yeah, totally. Louis and Chris yeah. used to work together it, it, all the time. And it's fucking hidden. It's fucking hidden. We don't hear about it, but it's it's there. It's like a. It's for somehow I, I feel like they think they're ashamed about it. They, they don't are, want people. I think. But yeah, I don't think it's you that should. Image of the lone artist doing it. I don't. Right. Bill Look Hicks it, just alone. You create your your you create your jokes, okay? But if somebody helps you with a tag, you can if somebody. Them. Totally it's, fine. It's, it's, I don't think it's I also bad. think yeah. even at the highest level, like I almost look at like Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails. Like he's a musician. Dude, if he were to bring in other producers to collaborate to create this fucking crazy shit, which he does all the yeah. time, I'm not going like, oh, dude, he's not talented. He's made it to a level right. where he can get other well, brilliant artists, people yeah. to come in and collaborate and create this piece of art that we might not have a lot of unless do, a lot of artists they do that. There. They do dual albums together. Yeah, I just the, said that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I think he wanted to say dual album. Yeah. yeah. Or at least try. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true about the being nice and everything. Because I'll sit at the cellar and I'll watch a guy who's being a dick to the new guy. And then I'll watch a guy who's being nice to the new guy. And you kind of look and you go, the nice guy is pretty famous. And the dick is not going anywhere. Look, I've had famous people be dicks to me. Oh, really? I mean, yeah, there's famous guys that are fucking dicks. But I think that's two things. But I, I, I think the people yeah. who are nicer tend to move further in the industry. Because who wants to... Hire a dick who right. wants a dick on set. You? I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <Square. laughs> it comes in oh. delivery. <laughs> I just think that in your life, person, I'm not talking about fame wise. I'm talking personally. What I've learned over the years is that you should eliminate that hierarchy that you have. Yeah. Because it will affect your funniness. It will affect your business. And it will affect you knowing where you really stand, who you really are in the business. You should. I know where I am, and that honesty has kept me striving to become better. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When you think you're better than you are or further than you are, mm. you'll find yourself a lot further behind someday. Absolutely. Because nobody's going to want to be around you. Right. But come on, you know what Bobby. I mean? It's I mean, it's nice to say Mark, that, but I'm it's, saying it's, nobody it's, likes you, Mark. It, but it's <laughs> like I'm trying an intervention here. <laughs> it's like a subconscious thing. We all know who's what and what's who, and the stages and yeah, the levels and yeah. all that. I mean, you can say that. That's very it sounds very nice. But I've talked to comics where they're like, you know who you're talking to? You're talking to me. You you stay down there, motherfucker. And you're like, all I, right, all look right. Look, I've had that too, man. I've had that too, absolutely. And I think that, there, but I think guys down in, I've done it too. I've stepped over the boundaries. I've yeah. done shit. We're, we're, I've done it with Colin. Yeah. Uh -huh. I used to go with Colin. I did a couple, not too many times, but a couple times. I stepped over the fucking boundaries. Yeah. And he was like, hey, don't fuck you. Don't do that. Exactly. And, you and I was sorry. like, oh, shit. Right. But, so, yeah, I think so that's human. Exist. Yeah. It's human to make those mistakes. But if you don't acknowledge them and work for, and, and learn from them and understand them, I, you know what I mean? I, I think it's. Oh, look, we're all fucking psychos. Right. Let's right, just right, get right, that right, out right. there. Yeah. We're all fucking mental patients. In our own way. But we're all in it together. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We're all in it together. If anything New York has, it's a community. Okay? Yeah. I don't care if you're telling dick jokes, if you're writing great jokes, if you're fucking, you know, loading shit in a musket and it takes 20 minutes to get to a punchline joke. Whatever the fuck comedy you have, we're all in this together when it comes down to it. So it doesn't matter who goes above you and who goes you, or, you know. Y you've seen it a million times. The guy writing on the show is now selling out Madison Square Garden. Yeah, and by the way, yeah. like the whole like above and below thing. Like, yeah. yeah, look, I still haven't done Montreal, but like I like I have other things that other guys that have done Montreal would love to have. Sure, I have, I have sure. fucking gomites, or I have a podcast that I do every week that have fans of it that come at, back every well, week. I, I'd rather have Montreal, but you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I think Montreal is better than well, gomites. No I, no, I think having fans is probably the legitimately most important thing that you can have true. in this business. As a comic, yeah. 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 Well, there's, a, nothing, yeah there's nothing better in the world as a comic than to sell out 
with fans. To yeah. know that there's no freer. You're finally free. Yeah. You're fin- when right. you can finally walk out to all fans oh, is yeah. when you Although did I'm it. Always when you afraid, did it. I'm crazy. always afraid that fans are going to give me – they give you more of a laugh <coughs> than a real audience, nope. quote, unquote. Nope. They, ah. they, they, no, they don't. They listen. They're actually listening. They are they're what they're supposed you, to be. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing in the first place. They're there for they're the not show. on their phone. They didn't bring a fucking right. chick who doesn't know or a bachelorette party. They're there to hear you. Yeah, like they nobody, love you. nobody goes to see Usher that doesn't know Usher and like ah, like they're there for that. And yeah. that's right, but what, don't they get mad at Usher when Usher tries to do a new thing? Because they're like, we came to see Usher, not no, they don't. They go, oh, I did a new thing. It wasn't the greatest, but it's okay. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. And I look, I've had a very, I, I make jokes, but I have very few fans that do come out. But every time I'm on the road now, there's more. <laughs> More and more fans that are fucking coming out and yeah, saying, "Dude, absolutely. I heard you on YKWD, yeah. Legion of Skanks, Ron yeah. and Fez, whatever it is." Yeah, don't mention me with that, okay? I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just YKWD. Go ahead. This podcast made you. <laughs> Wait, he's made. <laughs> uh, Legion of Skanks really is just like a fucking cancerous growth on the side of YKWD really that's is. just bubbling <laughs> over. It really is. It's my fucking child that I, I, you, have, you see the three hundred. You ever on see three hundred? The fucking one with the hunchback. Uh, I will. <laughs> Help you fight! I should have, I should have thrown it over the cliff and killed it with the other babies. <laughs> <laughs> Someday it's gonna fucking go and fucking cut my throat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're coming through the path behind you. <laughs> Uh, the studio will fill, be filled uh, with fucking mittens and fucking <laughs> fucking pussy. You're the little guy playing the piano in Doctor Moreau. Yeah. <laughs> That's All right, we're gonna old reference. We're gonna wrap this up. Um, you guys, uh, we'll go around the room and do plugs. Um, uh, another great fucking show. Thank you so much for coming in, guys. Uh, let's go to the chat room real fast. Go to the Deepu chat and go to the regular chat too. I want to hear that. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, fuck you, TV <coughs> says. Uh, pretty sure all of us don't want to be held by our mommies, Lewis. Fuck you. Well, fuck you, TV. I want to be held by your mommy. Real ass dude. I'm on fire, bitch. Real ass dude. He also says Lewis has some really awful tattoos. Wow. Yeah. That's, That's not what truthful. your mother said. And he figured that out just by your voice. It's a video what podcast, Harrison. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And these are the Gomites talking. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. James I, I want to do something from now on. Whoever has the bomb bandana at the end, we get to fucking throw Suck water in their face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. That, that means the more people would try, like he'd be trying to get it off right now with a nice big <laughs> one. That's yeah. a good point. Although, yeah. just tell him it's hot cum. <laughs> <laughs> James Pasqui asks, have you ever bitched at a club owner on stage like Dane Cook did, calling the Laugh Factory owner a cunt? He called the Laugh Factory owner a cunt? Yeah, he got that is, that that up Stop it. This is all hearsay. Yeah, that's not what happened. I, I'm not... Listen, yeah. man. I don't... We, we, yeah, they, she brought it up last week that he got banned from the Laugh Factory, but I, 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 it's all hearsay. Who the fuck knows who he called the cunt? I'm not... I don't think that... I don't think that happened. So, but who the fuck knows? If somebody does know, come on the show. Uh, <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> God. What else? Uh, John Corey says, Who's a better fighter, Mark or Sherrod? Oh, oh my I think, God. I think we all know that Bring one. That back up? Yeah, we already talked about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, uh, you try, you try to be funny, and your cunty tone came off wrong. Yeah, and uh, you were both drunk a little. I and was, then yeah, pretty they, drunk. They goon handed, goon handed your face. There you go. And you were like, "What the fuck?" Hey, and he was like, "I'll fuck yo, motherfucker." And then he did this on the way out. Nothing. Jokes only work if you uh, know stuff. I was doing the yeah. helicopter. All right, whatever. Sherrod, you guys are both square, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right, good. Good, because he'd murder you. Here he I'm, comes. I'm right aware. I'm he aware. Would, were you trying to do this one? Here yeah. he comes in a helicopter. That's what I was trying to do. Yo, so I look. And look, hey, I look Marty, here. I'm going to fuck higher, you Higher, higher. They can jump. <laughs> I'm going to throw you out this fucking helicopter, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead to me, money. <laughs> money. They love it. When Sherrod comes in, though, he has, he has such a... Uh, uh, a fucking uh, ape? N- no. Are you, Whoa. Whoa. Are you crazy? It's only racist because you guys associate black with ape. You call me an ape all the time. I call him a fucking ape all the time. Uh, that's a good point. Okay, no, you are the racist ones. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's no. a fucking. Well, he's a knuckle dragon on the floor ape. Okay. I gotta, I, I'm done, dude. It's I'm only out. <laughs> I was gonna say when he, a fatherly when he comes in, is that he can grabs you and kind of hugs you. Uh huh. You kind of yeah, like dad. Nice. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. I used to get. Those. I wasn't gonna say that, you fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't hurt it's me. Very God. welcoming. Jesus. Should we go to Bobby Chat? Uh, yeah, go to Bobby Chat. Uh, James Pasqui says, "Imagine doing a one-minute set at Kill Tony, which is a show at the Comedy Store, uh, and, and then Brian Redband gives you pointers. Hashtag career low. 
<laughs> Why? Why? Is he pretty famous for a comic? I don't know. No, Brian, Brian, no they had no, not for being a comic. They had this show at the on store. Rogan. Okay. They had well, the show at the store. Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah. Well, if, do, here's yeah. what you do. If someone comes up to you and gives you pointers, go, dude, I'm good. Thanks. Oh, well, hold on, time out. If you're you can a, always listen on, to the pointers and off. not listen if to If you're them. a young comic and a fucking older comic, and look, I get that Brian Redman's not like known for being a great comic, and that's not why he's famous. But either way, he's been in the fucking game a long time. If there's some dude that's famous that it hangs out with a bunch of famous great comics that says, hey, dude, I'm going <laughs> to give you a little bit of a pointer, why is he, say why is thanks. He, but is, he new in the, he's, is he new at stand-up? This guy in the no. chat said that Brian's he... Brian's been around for a while. That Brian, how long? Focus, he's listen to me. 40s. Okay. But that's the You're point of the show. The show is you give pointers. Yeah, yeah I've done I'm sorry. that show. Yeah. Lewis, you, you're really not that interesting, but go ahead now. No, the point is this kid said uh, Brian Redman gave him a pointer after yeah. a show, and it was the lowest point So of what do you career. suggest he does? Say thanks. I appreciate the advice. You're an older comic who's in a place that I want to be in at one point. Yeah, I, would I wouldn't like. There's comics that I don't have a ton of respect for. If yeah. they gave me a pointer, if they're if they're in the business for a long time and they've been well, there, listen, I'm not going to go fuck off, old man. I know what I'm I, doing. I understand what he's saying, though. It's like. It's like I don't. It's like okay, I just did a set. I, I, good or bad, I don't really need anybody giving me any advice. I know where I'm at. Young comic should best take it. All right, best it. advice I ever got was from Joe Rogan when really? I went up to him after a show at the Aku Aku in Cambridge, and I was a fan of his half-hour MTV special, and he talked about getting head on actual MTV. It was hilarious. And I'm sitting like, oh my God, this guy is the motherfucker. And now I'm middling for him. And I walked up and go, hey, dude, do you have any advice? And I, I was so hard to do. And he went, no, there's no advice. Mm. Don't take advice from anybody. Yeah. Now, I just, know, I just, get, just go on stage. Just get funny. Because anybody who tells you what to do is telling you how to be their type of comic. We just did a two and a half hour podcast giving advice. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> about what to do with your career. No, we didn't. how to be likable. And <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not about what you're saying. Yeah, no, not I'm, about what you're well, saying. Let me, let me say two things. One, that's, that's two different things. What we did, <clears throat> and what I would never tell anybody what to say. Right. You do what you want. I got you know similar I mean? advice when I was just starting out. A, a comic who'd been in the game for a while I was like, "Don't suck." That was his advice, which uh, is a, a, as good as you can get. He's like, you, "Get your mouth off my dick <laughs> right now." <laughs> yeah. No, but the other thing no. is, <laughs> I've gotten advice from people who are. There's a million gay jokes and don't suck. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Everyone's my brain just fucking. My little yeah. brain just shut down. Yeah. Yeah. I just queefed. <laughs> no, because he went, "Don't <laughs> suck," and I was like, "Oh." Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, but the uh, other thing, too, is you should just take the advice. You don't have to follow advice. Yeah. So if some people who, yeah, I'm you, sure you never he, know where the good advice is going to come from. He, he took it as this guy's trying to be a dominant or, you right. know. But well, it, you but know, I think he's wrong for that. And also Mark said this, that show. That that's, is the point of the show. You go on to be show, critiqued. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, so, you yeah, know Yeah, it's what? not one-on-one -on -one advice. It's in front of a whole crowd. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so don't do the show then, you yeah. will. Yeah. yeah. If, if Red Bulls say the judges, don't We're really smashing this guy, but he probably was just trying to be witty. Or just right. Yeah, yeah. And we're just, he was like, yeah. dude, I didn't mean it. Yeah. Right. He's probably just trying to be funny. Well, and I think we there's something. We took it analytical. There really needs to be, and I really, I believe this, guys. When I started when I started in comedy, there was a lot of guys that I looked up to that today I don't really give a fuck about, right? Okay. I'll be a dick. I'm sorry. So, but like, it, uh, I still had a respect for the fact that they were in a place that I wanted to be in at one point. And I feel like there's a, a general uh, temperature in the in the open mic comedy scene, especially from female comics, mm. where they don't just go like, "Hey, dude, you're fucking there, and I want to be there one day. So ah. let me just automatically give you respect." And you have right. it's just it's, all right. Tell me, all right, good. We gotta wrap this up. You get a little wordy. You get a little wordy. You, I know you're fucking. You're like Tony Robbins. You go off. All right. I what actually, are the tattoos I did a voiceover. On your wrist? Is that how many gomites you have? No. <laughs> <laughs> hold it up, hold it up again. Let me see. Yeah, here. we missed it. <laughs> On the, on, the, on the Legion of Skanks podcast, Tuesday nights at 10 o'clock on Cave Comedy Radio, youtube.com slash Legion of Skanks, you, uh, me and Big J had a contest where we did trivia on each other. Yeah, yeah. And every time we got another question wrong yeah. about the other person, we had to get another hash mark tattooed yeah. into Damn. our floor. So he has nine of them. Just in the same another place. shitty story you're going to have to tell your grandchild. <laughs> uh, well, me and why would you do that? I don't yeah, know. No, Grandpa, me and this guy who, yeah. Me and this guy who died of diabetes 20 years ago. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, what else we got in the Woo. chat? Anybody else? Let me see. Give me one more. Um, Joe Rogan's advice to Bobby Atkins. <laughs> oh, Joe Rogan oh, called in. That's pretty good. Right. It wasn't the real joke. Huh? I know. A lot of people were guessing like who, what comics have a writer, who doesn't. That was a whole thing. <clears throat> well, it's not our job to say because right, it's their yeah. privacy. And but uh, believe me, a lot me, of them do. I don't think I'll, they have I'll, like just writers doing the whole act for them. No. no. Yeah, they tweak, they punch I think, up I, them. Yeah, yeah. I think well, this, no, I they know. think that I think they think that, like, Chris Rock has a guy just doing uh, his jokes for Kevin him. Hart, no. Kevin Hart has his openers. This is known. He they sit in the audience and they watch his act and they come afterwards and they fucking say, hey, dude, this is what's going yeah. on. 
Of course, if, if I had enough money where I could just fucking pay my entourage to sit there and fucking help me with shit, if I had comics. But we all do why that. Why not? You do it to me. You'd be like, oh, this is the tag. No, right I here. say stop <laughs> doing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, I think that to comedy in general. He makes a good point is that we do kind of have that if we want it. You know, we could say, hey, dude, let me watch your set. Yes. Or like I say, like I, I'll do on the weekends. I'll say to Lenny uh, or Gary, <coughs> I'll be, I'm doing this bit. Check it out. Oh, what do you think? And they'll give me and they'll watch it. Oh, you should do this or that was good or this. And it, it, them just saying it's good or that's great kind of gives you the confidence to go up on the next set if you're doing five sets Absolutely. to go a little further with it mm. and, you know, or try this or whatever. So I think we do have the ability to do that. We just feel like as comics, you have to, everything has to be from you. Organic. And, and, and I don't think that's true. I think you can, you can be pushed and we should help each other more, I think. What else? Um... Bobby should have Lewis on more often so he won't need to get so many words in. Oh. Yeah. That was a compliment for me. And it was a diss against all the other shitty comics you have. Yeah. Um, Fuck Your TV says, You're killing Louie. You literally saved the last episode. Oh, wow. Oh, that was yeah. a nice compliment. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's, <laughs> let's end on that one. That was adorable. <laughs> yeah. right, Bobby listen. texted that to himself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, anyways, let's go around the room. You guys, thanks for uh, tuning in. Once again, to the live video feed, uh, subscribe and review. If you want, you want to do something for us. If you haven't, you know, donated. Uh, I want to thank you know uh, Ian and, and Heather. They donate at least once a month to the PayPal. I haven't checked it in a couple months, but you guys, there is a donate button if you ever want to donate something to the show. Uh, it all goes back into whatever we need here. Uh, but you guys are the best, Heather and, and Ian Rice. You're, you're just awesome. But uh, subscribe to this channel, YouTube channel. It's free. And it's free. You hit the button, you'll get notifications when we're going live. You'll get notification when the, the new video comes up. Uh, and it's uh, it's actually, you know, we put it, uh, we spent a lot of money and a lot of hard work, and Deepu's done a fantastic job. And, Thank you. And Chris has, uh, you know, done. Uh, All right. He's done all right. Uh, but <laughs> make sure you subscribe and review. Go to Radcast.com, listen to all the shows, including Hammer Fisting um, and Weird Medicine, one of my favorite shows. Uh, and uh, check them out. And uh, let's go around the room. What do you got, Mark? Uh, when does this come out? Sorry. Sunday. Sunday. Uh, just follow me on Twitter, at Mark Norm. <clears throat> check out my podcast with Joe List. Tuesdays with Stories. It's on iTunes. And... Uh, Check the website for dates. I'm coming to Joker's Wild, Dr. Grin's, a couple of the Bonnaroo. So come say hi. I'm doing Bonnaroo, too. Oh, great. Yeah, we're going out with Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll to do a Q&A, and I think I'm doing the comedy. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was in Kentucky, right? Or something. Where is it? Tennessee. Tennessee. Tennessee, yeah. Yeah, I'm we'll awesome. do shrooms. I don't do drugs, but I'll watch <laughs> you do shrooms, and I'll... I'll Fucking pee on your foot. Oh, can we do a <laughs> shroom cast? I'll do a yeah. live shroom cast. That'd oh be man, crazy! Yeah. I don't, ha I don't do drugs. No, but you would be the sober person. Everybody else yeah. on your podcast. Yeah, that. yeah, that's funny. That. Ooh. Would you do it, Deepu? Hell yeah! All right, will we get the Ooh. shrooms. Will you do it? Of course. I think, you? I think I would have to do it. <laughs> Let's do it next Wednesday. Maybe. All right, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. All right, go yeah. ahead. It's involved. It might have to be a night or something. Yeah. No, you don't got to do it at night. Let's do it outside. That's me at night. I want to do it at night. It has to be in a podcast studio, Deepu. I wanted that. We night. can run a cable outside. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Go. Uh, I'm gonna be at Foxwoods uh, Comics at Foxwoods, Connecticut, the 27th through the 31st. Look at the camera, dum dum. The, the 27th right of th uh, through right the there. 31st of May, I will be headlining the Wednesday and Sunday. Big J's headlining the Thursday through Saturday. So check us so out. So Big, Big J's headlining. So I'm middling apparently <laughs> for an hour at the end of the Sunday and Wednesday show. It's weird. It's not. Um, it's a longer middle spot. It's a yeah. longer middle spot. Yeah. And also I'll be in Windsor, Canada, right outside of hey, Toronto. Hey, you're going up last. Let's call it that. You're going up last Wednesday. <laughs> and I'm, the, I'm the closer. Yeah, you're the no. You're going up last on Wednesday and Thursday. When, uh, you're mi you're featuring. This is <laughs> you're doing a really long check spot. <laughs> I love it. But here's the thing. This is why this is why it sucks to have him as a, a middler because he doesn't care. Like if I bring somebody, I want them to promote my show. Yeah. Uh, I'm bringing you to my show to Friday, okay. th Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Right. That's the show. Right. That's where we need to sell tickets. That's where I need to pack the. I think Bobby yeah. almost murdered Dan Soder for promoting Anthony Jeselnik's headline and once on the show. I think it was wow. only... Well, he literally almost physically attacked him no, one he, time. He came on... He came on the show. Okay, try to no, think no, no, way out of this no, no, one now. I want to go back to this and we'll go back to that. <laughs> but what he, he'll do, he's promoting the, third, the Wednesday and the Sunday more... 
He's literally right. <laughs> skimming over the guy who got him the gig, basically. <laughs> the only reason he's really going is because of Big J, right. who's been busting his ass and trying to fucking help him. Now... Oh, is that the story of fucking Big J, the guy who helped him? It's my fourth time fucking going to comics, motherfucker. Uh, uh, second of all, <laughs> Big J doesn't bust How did you anything. Go, who brought I you the bust comics? my ass for Big J. Who brought you there the first time? You did. <laughs> Thanks. Well, <laughs> Harrison, what I wanted to promote my Windsor date as well. Because uh, I probably won't be back on before this fucking date. Because I'm no Dude, longer... There's no more fucking regulars. Dude, that's not true. You were invited on last week. You couldn't make it. You were invited on for three weeks in a row. You couldn't make it. Uh, Don't blame me because you can't get a fucking uh, a kid sitter. That's you okay. have a baby. You know the word. 19th and 20th. I like to be original. 19th and 20th of June. Uh, Where's Windsor? Nobody's I'll be going in to Windsor, where? right outside of Toronto. Oh, okay. So cool. go to yeah. GomezComedy.com. Oh, go to LegionOfSkanks.com yeah. uh, as well. If you can find the gig in Windsor. <laughs> yeah. And check out all of our other shows. It's not on the stuff. GPS. Hammer Fisting, Real Ass Podcast. <clears throat> Just check out Hammer Fisting. Holla at you, boy. Real Ass Podcast isn't that good. I, I see it. It's, very, it's not that funny. <laughs> it's actually just blah 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 and fucking Scobo going uh, the two tricasters that are just it's just too bright in that fucking studio. <laughs> no fucking just want two cameras. Gung, gung. All right, go ahead. What do you got, Harris? Besides uh, Fire Island, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can you can see him on Grinder. Uh, no, uh, you can catch me on Twitter. If I catch you. you <laughs> I'm telling you, uh. I am gonna fucking find out if you come out of the closet. I'm, I'm gonna be pissed at so you. So that's why you. Now. So that's why you have grinder on your phone is to see if I'm on it. No, of course not. I'm married. No, no, no. <laughs> he has a grinder's app. Those are sandwiches. <laughs> you don't have a cricket sound effect. No, we got the bandana, oh, okay. and he, he. I actually like the silence more. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, I like to see his fucking nose get hot. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, Twitter <laughs> at Harrison Comedy. Uh, my website's harrisongreenbaum.com, and mm -hmm. I'm about to make everybody's head explode. And In the closet. Dot org. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can take a lose at gaychicken.com. Uh, <laughs> you can catch me next week in Los Angeles at the Magic Castle. Ooh. <laughs> where I'm at the where I'm at the parlor of prestidigitation. Ah. <laughs> uh, 11 15 and find, twelve fifteen. If I find uh, out Monday through Sunday if I at the out. Magic Castle. If I find the out. very not gay, totally straight, Jesus magic You can castle. see me at the Bukaki house. <laughs> you can see me wearing a vest <laughs> at Rosie's house in Rhode Island. Magic and gay, very similar. Sparkles, oh capes, God. disappointed fathers. What do you oh, got? Yeah. What do you got, Scopo? What do I got? Uh, this weekend, 14th, 15th, and 16th yep. at Laugh Boston. Yeah. If you're listening live, come down, check it out. Good club, great hotel. Uh, June 18th, yep. 50 West Club in Salt Lake City, Utah. Boom, boom, boom. Check it out. Do I get to bring an opener to that? Shit. Okay, go ahead. Fuck. I haven't been to Utah. Well, maybe you'll be going to Utah with okay. me. July uh, in New York City. What? Back, what? Got some comedy What's club. your problem? I just don't like everything that just happened. <laughs> Why? It's just You're beyond me, dude. He's he's moved up in your spot. It just bugged me. I don't know. Why? I you, get it. Yeah, you're right. You don't want to go to Utah. You want to head. <laughs> you want to headline Wednesdays and Sundays. I'm gonna only be there fucking one night. <laughs> There's no time to pl to get you other dates around it, Maybe. so you can tell people, "Go, mites! I'm headlining on Tuesday at four in the afternoon, and then doing a show uh, where Bobby's headlining." <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you thought they'd said Winder, and it was really Wednesday. Yeah, last uh, time I, I took Winder. him to Foxwoods, he was headline doing the same thing. And he was only promoting his shows. <laughs> they, hold on. They don't have me headline on the Wednesday to promote the weekend. They literally want me to do that. Yeah. They told me, yeah. promote no, your shows. You promote my show. I know. So I have fucking two psychopaths with bald heads uh, <laughs> fucking yelling at me in opposite directions. When, you, when someone invites you to work with them, you promote the shows that you're on together. And Big J didn't even invite me for Why? this weekend. Uh, Ryan from Comics booked me on the weekend. He was like, oh, you're with Big J. I was like, cool. He didn't fucking book you? No, Big J doesn't book me on shows with him. Why? Because he doesn't want me to succeed. He likes Fenoya, right? Uh, yeah. Michael Fenoya, I like him too. Maybe I'll start using him. Mm, nice kid. Go ahead. What do you got? <laughs> uh, New York City. Bobby's coming July 16th, 17th, and 18th. Bobby's coming? He's here. Well, he knows he's in Westchester. Well, you really just want that bandana. Wow. Right? Do you want to take it with you and wrap it around your head when you rollerblade to the fucking Harlem? <laughs> 
Blading is funny. <laughs> Good. Yeah. What else? What else do I got? Uh, you were, you were at Gotham Comedy Club. Gotham. When is that? Sixteenth, seventeenth, and eighteenth of, of nice. July. Oh no shit! Ooh, I didn't that's know a that. great gig. That's yeah. great. Yeah, right. Hot summer. Oh, I'll, I'll yeah. be open in the summer. <laughs> Guys, come check me out. Feature for Bobby Kelly. Where? Uh, uh, Gotham. You're not featuring for July. Me. 16th You're not even Why? near the show. Why? I'm going to have somebody else. They work have... me there. They work me there. No, I'm good. No. They yeah, love me. Yeah. Sean, yeah. Sean's no. my boy. And yeah. on I Wednesday, w- he'll be headlining the Vintage Lounge. <laughs> 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 yeah. No. You're not having... You, you're moved on, dude. You're above me. You have Gomites now. Have the Gomites I didn't fill. say I'm above you. I said we're on equal levels. You said we're on equal levels. Remember that whole speech? Yeah. No, I lied about that. That speech <laughs> was bullshit. You're not near me. <laughs> uh, there's the truth. No. Uh, um, I don't know who's doing that yet, but if I had you on last time, and we got donuts. Oh, those donuts oh. right next door. The donut oh. planes. Not next door. Uh, you don't know what you're pub. talking about. Oh, there's donut, donut pub next to Gotham. Donut. There's good donuts. Yeah, we'll, we'll maybe maybe we will have. Uh, that could be a you tradition. Your, yeah, well, I'm not making traditions with you. Tradition. No, your traditions stink. Your father <laughs> dies. Your mother dies. I'm <laughs> oh, Jesus. Shitty traditions. Uh, what else uh, we got? Uh, then you have Brokerage, uh, <coughs> August 7th and yes, 8th. Yes, that's a great gig. That's Anyways, a fun gig, too. Um, well, I'm going to be coming to uh, Austin to promote uh, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll. Uh, Louie on Thursday nights. Uh, make sure you go to Louie. Uh, watch that on FX at 1030 after the Comedian. Uh, comedians. It's a great uh, show, too. Uh, watch so both funny. those shows. Yeah, FX is kicking it this, uh, killing it this year. So make sure you uh, watch. I, th- I think I'm on Louie this week and then next week. Uh, it's, it's great season this year. Unbelievable. And, of course, uh, Ju- July 16th, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll comes out on FX. Fucking calendar that. Oh, and right yeah. behind me, you're at Gotham. right here, mm, check yeah. that out right there. What is that? T-shirt? That is the new Robert Kelly Live from the Village Underground T-shirt. Ooh, we yeah. have uh, nice. at riotcast.com. You just hit the merch button. brings you right to the page. And you pick yourself up one of these beautiful little T-shirts. That is hanging perfectly. Um, it's hanging almost. It's not it's really hanging at all perfectly. perfectly I think. Um, no, it's not. It's fucking wrinkled. It's I fucked it's, up. There we go. That's I perfect. Think. Thank you, Depot. Leave it to the Indian to make it perfect. Well, you um, know. well, he actually fucking was the Indian, too, and he stole one of the T-shirts. Why did you steal a T-shirt? I thought that shirt was for me. No. no you don't think it was. Did you say? I what, didn't What did he tell you? He goes, I think this one's mine. I go, okay. I didn't know. So he should have said, no, that's not yours. Why would you think a double X is for you? Uh, yeah, what do you I didn't I, measure it until I got home. Do you have a night shirt? Do you fucking want, do you you want to measure wear me? the shirt? Why don't you just look at the tag? Yeah. I thought it was for me. I thought you guys knew. Oh, Deepu works hard for the show. Let's give him a shirt. Yeah, you know? No, Deepu, oh. you'll get whatever you want if you ask for it. Why wouldn't I give you a si- your size? You don't have my size. Your, your size, your I have medium. Aren't... You do? I have medium. Yes, I bought a, t- I have a whole fucking thing of them. I would love a shirt. Stop yeah. stealing them. How's that, you fucking thief? Sorry. Let me tell you Sorry. something. <laughs> Lying is stupid. Just say, Bobby, I want a shirt. And then you get your shirt your size. I give whatever you want. You don't just snatch one off the fucking wall. I mean, I I'm did, sorry. I did ask you one for three weeks ago. I'm still waiting. I, but, dude, I have them in the car. I, what I tell you, I said, remind me to get the shirts. I know. And did you remind me? Yes. And I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, listen, I will get you and you a shirt. Absolutely. You can have whatever you want, guys. Um, so make sure you uh, check us out this weekend. Get your shirts. Go to Riotcast. Thanks for tuning in to this fucking amazing podcast. You guys... Thank you for uh, Harris, Mark, uh, Gomez. Thanks, Thanks for, for uh, coming yeah. on. And you two, Deepu and Chris Scopo, you guys are the fucking best. Uh, you fans, the dudes are the best. And I guess the Gomites. All right, we'll see you guys later. You know what, dude? Look out. You've been listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. Check out riotcast.com for all of the best podcasts on the internet. And they're all free. And they're all free. Hey, what's up? Are you a YKWD fan? Then, ah, uh, shit. Hey, are you, oh, uh, God. Are you doing you what? Are you doing... Three, two, one. Right, you're gonna three, say, two, one, and just go. Are you going to say action? No, just go. All right, ready? ready? Here we go. Ready? One, go. Three, two, one. Why did you say it like you were going to say go? <laughs> Fucking forget it. Are you a YKWD fan? We'll prove it. My one-hour special, live from the Village Underground, is available right now at robertkellylive.com. 
And it's the fucking motherfucking unedited fucking motherfucking version, bitches. That's right. No fucking beats. So go to Robert Kelly Live right now. And what the? What are you making faces? That was perfect. You fu You know what? You fucking. So go to robertkellylive.com and get the special. It's only five bucks. So go there now. RobertKellyLive.com. You guys couldn't do that? Oh.